Uh, windy old wintry day here in Melbourne, this MCG. Blustery conditions, everyone rugged up for the big game. Tigers in Adelaide this afternoon. Hail on its way as we see the Crows hit the deck. And this afternoon, a win today will just keep them one game out of the top eight. So a big, important match for the Adelaide Crows. And for that man, Kurt Tippett there, a very important player. Paddy Dangerfield as the Crows come onto the ground. Not a big crowd in. As I say, a tough old day here in Melbourne. Windy. Bit of hail expected later on. They want to get a good start in these sort of conditions this afternoon, the Crows. As I say, they've still got a chance. As I say, good afternoon again to Danny Frawley. Uh, big chance still to make the eight. Oh, look, they've been uh, very disappointed last week. They let one slip against Port Adelaide, but that form was good yesterday, beating Hawthorne. There's Kirk Tippett. He's the danger man. They need to stop him, Richmond. There's no doubting that. They've got a good spread of goal kickers. It'll be interesting to see how the run and carry. They really didn't uh, make the most of their opportunities last week. They, they won a lot of stoppages. Their ball use was good. Taylor Walker, his form away from Amy Stadium hasn't been great. He was one player that really let them down. Let's have a look at this Adelaide liner. On paper, very, very good team still. They like that goal to goal line. It looks pretty smart. Yeah, Rutten and Bock, they'll double team Jack Rewald up the other end, I've got no doubting that. Scotty Thompson, Bernie Vince, Dangerfield, he's the danger man because he can push forward and, and kick those goals. So Tippett Walker, Paul, please just started back last week. We're interested to see what Neil Craig does with him. As we see last week, they had the opportunities. They were getting the ball in there, they were marking the ball. But as we can see here, the set shots, that was deflating yeah, because they were all kickable goals. And in the end, Port Adelaide made them pay in the scoreboard. Uh, they certainly did. Uh, you just can't afford to do that in a game when you're trying to... Everything you've got to have working for you to make the finals, which they do need... Guys like Taylor Walker and also uh, Kurt Tippett need to nail their opportunities. We well, can see the crowd in the background. There was a lot of uh, Adelaide Crow supporters. The, the crowd was deafening in the end because they were dominating the play, especially in that first half, and it really come back to roost. But the Richmond team, they're plucky. We've seen them in these wet, blustery conditions against Port Adelaide over an 80 state at the start of the year. They love these wet conditions with the, the guys in and under Tuck and Martin and Daniel Jackson back into the fold. Yeah, certainly uh, do. I uh, really love the uh, full of spirit, full of fight, the Tiger win. Well, they were ordinary last week, but let's not muck around. They were very ordinary. Let's have a look at the team, though. I, I agree with you. Their midfield is very strong. Yeah, midfield's good. These conditions will suit. Cousins have been terrific for Martin. Daniel Jackson, he's, he's the go-to player. We'll play Bernie Vince. Newman Deledio. No doubt Neil Craig will look at those two guys. They're their best ball users out of the back half. McGuan and Moore, Thirstfield. They'll have to double, triple team tipping in the ruck at, at stages, and Graham, he's a player that's coming on as well. Yeah, OK, there we see Robbie Hicks there making his debut. We had to catch up with him a bit earlier, yeah. didn't we, Spuddy? He's, he's excited. He's excited, but he's really nervous. No, he's excited. It's fantastic to see. Look, they're a young team. They're emerging. You're right, though. Their last two weeks, their ball use hasn't been great. And today's keys, it is the ball use, because they've really butchered it, you know, the last couple of weeks. So they need to make sure they get the ball in the hands of Newman, Deledio out of the halfback, and of course Dustin Martin, and try and get it down to Rewalt as quickly as possible, one-on-one. -on -one. Adelaide clearance work. Uh, we mentioned the fact that the likes of Tuck and the likes of Martin and these type of players are very important. The Crows need to at least match the Tigers because that's their strength. Oh, there's no doubting that. But up both ends, you've got Tippett and Rewalt. Now, both sides will make sure they want to get them on the scoreboard, the key fours. But likewise, the opposition defenders will double, triple team those guys. Make sure that Rewalt, as we said, you can see Tippett here, he's the go-to man. And Rewalt... He marks every second ball going inside the forward 50, so super important to double team him. Yeah, certainly will, and you're right, they've got some experience down there with Bock and Rutten and these type of players. There's no way known they'll allow every ball that gets to kick to uh, Jack Rewalt to be one-on-one. -on -one. Well, we saw it here about six weeks ago, West Coast Eagles, they uh, just allowed Rewalt one-on-one, -on -one. he kicked 10, which was uh, quite amazing. So I don't think we'll see that today. I think Rutten will get first crack and then Bock will play in the front. Let's uh, go to the ad break, come back for the first bounce. Jack Rewalt, what a year he had, and I'll tell you what, he's taken some unbelievable marks. Jackson, wide to White, and Rewalt, third man up. Skyscraper all the way towards oh, Rewalt again. He is a talent when it comes to marking the footy. Galileo drives to the oh, oh, That's the magnificent oh, Mark Rewalt.
else in the world would you rather be than the MCG to watch a game between two teams that have got a lot to play for here this afternoon. The Adelaide Crows still in the firing line for a spot in the finals this year and Richmond trying to make sure they can avoid the wooden spoon. They lose today the Tigers and the West Coast win. The Tigers will find themselves on the bottom of the ladder which would be a tragedy given that they won four games in a row before their last two hiccups and they were looking very very good as we head downstairs. Welcome back Lee Colbert. Thanks Dwayne. Oh, well perfect conditions right now and the start all important today because by four o'clock today thunderstorms and hail are predicted to be on their way so uh, whoever can get out of the blocks get in front early certainly going to help them set up their game. Thanks Colby, looking forward to hearing from you throughout the course of the day. The Adelaide Crows in their white jumper. If you're new to the game of AFL, that's Richmond. You can recognise that jumper, whether you've tuned in only recently or 100 years ago you came to a game. But the Adelaide Crows, of course, as is the modern way, have to chop and change with the white jumpers and they've gone for the white. As it stands right now, it's 11th versus 15th on the AFL ladder. Both teams have had some good form and then some hiccups recently. Mentioned Richmond winning four in a row, but they've lost the past two by 50 and 82 points. And Adelaide, they won four in a row before losing last week's showdown to Port Adelaide. Here's Jack Rail up there, leading the Coleman medal at the moment. 63 goals. Next to him is Robert Hicks playing his first game. We saw in the pregame there, Dale Waitman. Richmond legend handing the jumper to Robert Hicks there, so... Great opportunity for him. Did Help. he hand over the nickname as well, the Flea? Because he is small, Robbie Hicks. Are we going with Flea? Did you find out whether he handed the nickname over? Well, they're the same height, Dwayne, and if they haven't, we'll just make sure that he does hand it over. I think G Flea's a very generous man, so uh, he'd be quite happy for Robert Hicks there to have his nickname. And that's going to be a fantastic duel there, Kirk Tippett versus Will Thursfield. He'll get double, triple teamed in the air, no doubt, today. Big game with so many stories attached to it, including that man, Ben Cousins, playing for a new contract, hopefully for next year. Steve McBurney, Chris Camelons and Michael Jennings, the umpires today, and we are underway. Marich, who dominated the ruck when the two teams met earlier this year. Edwards tries to get free. Graham, who's going to have to do the fighting for Richmond in the ruck and an early free. And Edwards gets the early one to Lidio. Coming off a fairly average game last week. Hacks it inside 50 with a long bomb. Poor pleasure in defence. Bock and Good doesn't pressure. rush it through. That one's still alive. He was supposed to knock it through and White almost rolled it through. Well, there's a few things you say. I mean, Jake King's got his knockers, but his defensive work is terrific. And that chase there, before that it actually was, was fantastic. Adelaide Crows have had to change things up a little and Paul Pleasure playing in defence is one of them and Doughty captaining the team another of course with some of their older statesmen Goodwin and McLeod unavailable today. The Paul Pleasure one's really interesting I mean he was so dangerous as a forward last couple of years but really has struggled this year they've tried him in the midfield now they've got him back in defence to get him some touch. McKay on the outer side Turned 22 years of age this week one of the Rising guns for the Adelaide Crows that really have to fill the breach with Andrew McLeod, Goodwin, Edwards all departing. Or well, maybe McLeod could play again next year, but there has been talk this week that his knee is more problematic than the Crows would hope. Doughty. Good corralling here from Richmond at the moment. The Adelaide have had eight possessions and the ball is just on the centre wing now. So good corralling there from the Tigers. Thompson, McKay, Van Perlo. Little sidestep. And now the first inside 50 for Adelaide. Under the ball was Taylor Walker. He gathers Walker, dragged down by one arm in a clever tackle. Ball scooped up. And the Lydia going nowhere with Henderson's wraparound tackle. Umpire let that go a long time, and that's very, very harsh. Quite often they just toss those up, just bounce it. Chris Camelon's making a statement there. I'm going to give you an enormous amount of time. You can have 10 minutes if you want. You just have to continue to make out you're getting rid of it during that 10 minutes. Yeah, we have a look at the replay here. Really good tackle. And you see Delidio. There's not a lot he could do there. No. Great tackle from Henderson, but not a lot Delidio could do. Tip it. Oh, Marich the at the back. back. Doesn't kick a lot of goals and misses this one, as did Dangerfield. And Mason averts the danger. Well, that's a let-off there 
for Richmond because all the defenders and Graham went up and allowed the ball to slip over the back. So, give her a week there for the Tigers' defence. Tippett and Graham. Tippett tips it. Thompson kicks it. Perfect start. Well, that was as clean a passage of uh, clearance work as you'd ever see. The tap down by Tippett was just a beauty. They left some space out the back. See the sweeper at the front, Thirstfield, but just hit it to, uh, his, to his teammate there, who read it beautifully. Just have a look at this. The flip out the back, you can see Scotty Thompson. David Asprey, I think it is there, needed yep. to stop his run at the ball. And that is as good a bit of play as you can see from the stoppage. Because you played all your career in the midfield, you'd love that service from Kirk Tippett. That's the strength of Tippett playing forward, but the ruck work to Thompson. Yeah, absolutely, Spud. Uh, you talk about your setups all week. It's very rare you can get a run at the ball like that, especially close, so close to goal. Dark clouds starting to hover over the MCG at the moment. An early lead will be handy. Martin gives it out. Connors try to give it back again. Edwards forced to lay a tackle. Newman bounces the outer side. Not a lot to go to. Back to Cousins. Try and set it up, it'll one two, and it works. Rewald can't get a jump out of though. Graham had to go, and King caught a little high and had to get that. Saw Stevens there, third man in, over the top in front of Rewald. So that's something that Richmond will have to take into account. Jake King, not a big goal kicker as well. He's almost forward for his forward pressure. This is it here, Spud. Have a look at this. Just watch the Adelaide defenders here. Rewild at the back. You can see three of them there. Good blocking by Rutten. Just stopped his run, didn't he? Beautifully done. And Stevens, he's going to be that third tall in the air. So Richmond will have to make him accountable. He's kicked one goal five this year. Jake King. That's nice. Yeah. That's beautiful. Richmond back in front. Well done, Jake Pearn. Well done, Damien Hardwick. He started his career as a back pocket, but now he's a type of player to have a run with throw. And he's hard, he's tough, he's hard at it again. We just see the double, triple turning of G, uh, Jack Rewald there. But Jake King is in a very good spot there on Paul Pleasure. You can just see he gets the ball just over the top. And the tackle there from Van Burlo, just too high. And well done, Jake King. Good start for Tigers midfield. Said he'd never make it, Jake King. <laughs> yeah, he survived game Mitch. number 52. Once said in an interview, I'd hate to play on me. <laughs> and he's never living that down. <laughs> yeah, we'll remind him throughout his career, but he does play that kind of game. And with each passing week, as the umpires let this go again, with each passing game, he yes, seems to get a tiny bit better. He does. And, and you know what I like about him? Uh, as we have a look at that matchup there, Scott Stevens and little Robbie Hicks. He's not much of Robbie. Scotty Stevens quite a big player, but he'll be trying to sag off the young fella. Yeah, that's right. Robbie Hicks, uh, first game. He'll need to get dangerous and make Stevens accountable. King almost marked that. McKay gathered his crumb. Schmidt, Gunston in game number two for Adelaide. And the wide kick is marked with ease by Morton. It's good last week. Back into the team after a six-week absence. That kick not so good for Mitch Morton, but 25 possessions against Collingwood last week. The equal most in that first game back for half a dozen. But Yench side by side with him. Griffin and Graham did the ruck work. Tuck, another player playing for a new contract that he's likely to get after a pretty good season. Uh, he's already got it. He's got it? Do I know? Okay, Martin kicks it inside, 50. Rewalt just overran that slightly and Rutten takes it out. So signed, sealed and delivered an extra year. Well, all agreed. Yeah, all agreed this week, Dwayne. So good for Shane Tuck. I mean, he's I made him work for it at the start of the year, but he's had a very consistent season. Good luck to him. He's one of yours? He sure is. Okay. There it is, straight from the manager's mouth. Free kick in the ruck contest. And he didn't know it was his, nor did we, but on cue, he gets a free <laughs> Shane Tuck as we're talking about him. Well, against Jonathan Griffin there. Yeah, it didn't look much. No, I want shepherd it yeah. out of the ruck. I would have thought that it was, if yeah. anything, a shepherd against Shane Tuck there. Well, it was good positioning from Tuck, but it should have just been play on. Yeah, actually. of course it but should have. Griffin yep. has got a case to answer to, to say he couldn't get to the bounce of the ball. So he also equal most possessions last week for the Tigers. He's in good form. Splits the middle. I guess that's the frustrating part, Spud, when you look at something like that happening. Uh, 
What's the Ruckman meant to do? I mean, he wants to run at the ball, and Shane takes Con in front of him. He's put his arms at the tiniest of nudges. Now, Tucky threw himself forward, but that's not a free for mine. Well, it's not. I, I think what's happening here is that the Tuck actually is in the ruck. So he's actually the Ruckman in the forward line there. So I think Collins uh, was the Ruckman not in that play. No, good start there. Both midfielders getting on the scoreboard early. Thompson and Tuck. So that's going to be an outstanding duel. So Griffin back into the ruck. He's against a real ruckman this time, Andrew Brown. And Brown favoured by that poor bounce. Tuck gathers, goes, gives. Cousins, Jackson, another player back into the Tigers lineup this week. He's missed five games through suspensions this year, Daniel Jackson. But he is a huge factor in them winning games when he's on. Jackson gets it back again on cue to Newman. Sure. Yeah, you get to, get to go with that ball. Waited for a white. Tuck mopped up his mess. Got a handball out. King mm. takes out Good Gunston. Block. Good block. for Webberley and gets a reward. He gets a possession for it. Tuck tries to get around Yench. Can't. Almost stolen by Deledio. Douglas. Ball toe-poked away from him. King still in the thick of it. And we'll get a ball up. Spud, we talked pre-game about the, uh, the Tigers' ability at the stoppages. 6-1 in favour of the Richmond side at the moment in the clearances, which is a really good start. Yeah, it was Martin having two and Tuck also having two early. So that, that's been their strength all year, but it's been their ball use the last couple of weeks that have let the Tigers down. Douglas Long tip it. Probably should have completed that, but gets it regardless. No one in the square. Forced to backtrack oh, to maintain really? possession. Vince about to be run down. Just gets the kick away and it works. Danger field, but maybe too far out to score. It's a strange breeze blowing through the MCG. It's a wind of change. We expect some rain and hail very shortly. Now, very good player, Patrick Dangerfield. Plays in the midfield and can switch hit forward. Mitch Farmer's going to have his hands full there. So he can lose him in transition, Dangerfield, because he floats from the midfield forward. And he's, he's a marking forward. You can see the size of him there. And another player who's signed a new contract to stay at the club this week. And big side we'll relief on. for Adelaide on. fans. He does take him on. And, well, I was going to say he won that battle, but it was an ugly kick. It's actually a really interesting bit of play. It's, remember the old days when Stevie Kolonyuk did that in that exact same spot That's true. for the Western Bulldogs. But Paddy, a, That was to win a game at the end. It was, but Paddy Dangerfield would know that he's got the pace advantage on Mitch Farmer. He's obviously seen a fair bit of him, and uh, I think that's a smart uh, thing to do to back yourself. The kick wasn't great, obviously. He probably did it on the wrong side of the ground, though. Yeah. On this side of the ground, he would have been right foot in. He went outside, and all the pressure was on his right foot to the boundary line. Rewalt comes up to make a marking contest on the half-back flank. There's your leader in the race for the Coleman, even though it was said by Tigers this week, including their coach, Damien Harwick, that it's not about individual honours at Richmond, but it's still an honour he'd love to win. Farmer got that from Yench. Tuck, short, Nathan. Held up. And throws it up long in the hope that Rewalt can go. Well, he's double three three again. Jump, yep, three jumped against him. Oh, that's a good play. Play the odds. You know it's going to Rewalt. Thompson, poor pleasure. Schmidt, Henderson. Oh. He missed Dowdy. Trouble here. Swooping on it. Getting a kick. McGuan doesn't kick many. Doesn't kick this. Well, they need other scorers into the game for, for Richmond goal scorers because you can see early that Rewalt, you can see that miss. Aaron handball there from Henderson. You can see that Revolt in the air. He's going to be double teamed all day. And that's good coaching, good defence. You know that Bock and Rutten will love this all day if it's a high ball. Henderson gets there and can have another crack at a Jeez, possession that's going to be marked. And this one is marked by Gunston. Victorian boy playing his first ever game at the MCG. Jack Gunston. Yeah, he's a good young player, Dwayne. He... Uh, Worked his way through the school system mainly. Hay Libri, Bo Morris, yep. Sandringham, under 18s, and it's every Victorian's dream to play an AFL game at the MCG. He's in game number two, having already played at Amy Stadium. Well, Tom Scully from Melbourne from Hay Libri, and Tommy Lynch playing his first game at St Kilda from Hay Libri on Friday night. So, so Schmidt, Tippett, Moore. Gee, they worked it really well there, the Crows, all the way from the back pocket, basically to the other side of the ground with good. Uh, dis uh, disposal by foot then they get it to inside 50 and unfortunately turn it straight over Connors if you joined us late, Robbie Hicks is in for his first game because Andrew Collins was a late withdrawal 
Thomas, back pocket. Nice kick. Tuck. He read the wind and then dropped the mark. Tip it, chip. Riley, give it wide. Symes, 50 from goal, floats it up. At the back. Delidio with the big fist. Thompson again, crumbs. And that wind bent it across the goal <laughs> face. It's almost further from goal when it landed. It's truly front and square. Graham, Edwards. You've got to be careful pinpointing your passes with this breeze. Farmer put Werbley under pressure. Tuck, caught, dragged down. Doughty might just go for goal. Doesn't, kick smothered. Edwards gets it back, hacks it to the midfield. It'll be coming back. Paul Pleasure takes the mark. Well, that's where you, you don't want to go long. Long down the middle of the ground. You know that the Crows are going to have a zoning defence there. Simes, Van Burlo, Riley to the pocket. Thompson again can't take the mark. Danger field. Caught. Slips the tackle. Walker tucked into the pocket. Tries the shimmy. Got to give the hand Caught. to Walker. And out of play. It's the times Taylor Walker. It's not sure whether he handball to someone in a better position his first thought. His first thought's always goals. You can see. He had a look but the option was there. Give it. Yeah, that's a good point. It's got to become instinctive. That sort of stuff, even if you're a forward, a key forward at that. Cousins couldn't quite trap it. Delidio does. Webberly crunched. Tip it. Throws it out. Symes, 50 from goal. Schmidt. And now Doughty can go from the paint. Drop part touched. Goal square. Asprey. He flew and let it go. Dangerfield swoops. Gives it to Sloan. He drops it. Goes back. Good gets tackle. it. Drops it again. Good tackle. And Martin with a shrug. A push, a don't argue, and a short pass, and they're away. And this is the first game of Robbie Hicks. First pass, a good one to Farmer. Martin strong through the hips, isn't he? Oh, oh boy, that was great strength. First, first year play. He's an 18 year old kid, oh, mate. Oh. <laughs> well, Yen's got beauty. the tippet. Connors, and now Cousins away in some space. Good run here from Delidio. So Delidio needs to hit the target at half forward. Poor pleasure. He's playing brilliantly at the moment until that kick. Well, this must be a lot windier than we think. We'll get into Colby in a second, but obviously this is... It does get very blustery here, but players are missing targets everywhere. I think it's because it's unpredictable. It's really blown in in the last half an hour. Cousins got it from Delidio, shrugs a tackle, heads wide, and Werbley couldn't make something of that. It's stumped out of play. Colby, Paul Plays, you've seen a lot of him in the last couple of weeks, and we just had a look at the strength here of Dustin Martin. That, that is great strength through the core. Paul, pleasure down back, Colby. Yeah, last week he spent his whole time in the goal square, him and Dowdy. Today he's getting to play a lot higher, which will suit him with Goodwin and McLeod out, who use his smarts and uh, get plenty of the ball, as what, he is already. What about the conditions down there, Colby? You've hit the nail on the head, very swirly conditions, but uh, blokes have just got to be a little bit careful with uh, the disposal. Well, yeah, Woods inside, 50 towards Revo after Cousins used his smarts to gain possession for the Tigers. Griffin gives it up, Bamberlo. Nothing on the long here. They have to keep using. This is better play, though. Use it by hand. Douglas McKay, Symes, Gunston. Oh, on, on his own. He does it. Field. Well, it was a poor kick in the end. He tried to manufacture the kick long over the top. And unfortunately for Jack Gunston. This was a better build-up, though. They've been prepared to kick the ball a lot more than Richmond early in this match. The Tigers using handball a lot better. But that was a better passage of play by the Crows. Oh, that's poor defence. Taken straight out of the rut by yeah. Griffin. And they were monstered in the ruck when these two teams met earlier this year. Richmond, Adelaide smashed them by 50 points, even though it was through a big last quarter. But that, it was in the ruck where they won easily. That was as poor a setup by the Tigers as Tippett was as good as he was in the first time it was in the same spot. It cost Hawthorne a game last yeah, week. It did. McAvoy, Hawthorne, Beeson killed on Friday night. Exact same process. Douglas Van Berlo, short. They had the numbers and Griffin again. Well, he gets an opportunity here and... Adelaide dominated the play last week, and we saw it in the pre-game. The set shots against Port was deflating. You know, they're midfield, they're on top. You've just got to go back and nail these now. Good kick there. Lower the eyes, hit Griffin up. And he's coming off an average game last week again. Jonathan Griffin needs to establish himself. Just two kicks in the showdown last week, and Merritt's just the one kick in that showdown. Strikes it nicely. Wind plays with it a bit. It's back to a one-point lead. Promising start for Griffin. He really should have kicked two goals in about a minute. Because he missed that one and are taking it out of the ruck. But a much better build-up by the Crows. And the big fella can push forward. He'll become a much more dangerous player. And that's what he'll be trying to do. Just try and get forward a bit on Angus Graham when he's in the ruck. 
A nice finish in pretty trying conditions, or tricky conditions, I should say. It's his sixth season on the list, Jonathan Griffin, for game number 40. And Neil Craig going tall now with Griffin and Tippett, who just had a little bit of a spell on the bench, so now he's got the double prong tall attack down there. Cal Moore and first wheel with their hands full. Marich in the ruck against Brown, holding free. Thompson wins it against Jackson. Heads wide, Henderson. Douglas, the target, needs to get the skates on and gets there. Adelaide starting to gain control. Richmond by a point, but it's been Adelaide's last four or five minutes. 23 marks that Crows are taking to seven. So they are prepared to hit up short yeah. targets. Griffin and Moore. A little bit of a backhander there. One umpire, I've got the fight, you take the throw in. And just with that, they've had 39 kicks, Adelaide, the money had six long kicks. Mm. So Richmond have to be aware of that, they're hitting up, they're lowering their eyes, just hitting targets. Sloan did well there, blocked the handball, wrapped up by Tuck, ball up. They've had a few ineffective kicks, but 27 of their kicks have been short. Mm. So we're, we're talking that... 20 metre to 30 metre kick so Richmond just have to be aware that if Adelaide's ball use is on song they'll get yeah. through that zone. Andrew Brown is in game number three Andrew Brown and he's struggling a bit in the ruck hand off to Riley after Marich is free Tippett flies right, off five. hands drag down Henderson got the handball away just in time Griffin pocket Moore sees it out. Tell you what I like there that the way that Daniel Connors back back into the pack to help out Cal Moore then was sensational well, first foot it was, actually. Just pushed his, his way back. That's what you want, your defenders. Gee, this Brown worries again me. beaten for it. <laughs> this worries me when they get throw-ins in the forward pocket here, well, the Tigers. Third gamer at the craft in the back pocket. And the Adelaide Crows fans, their eyes must be lighting up at home, even though they're not translating it to the scoreboard. Richmond still by a point. And the Adelaide Crows can be one game outside the eight with four rounds to play if they win today. Tuck. Got Newman out wide, if you can see. Oh, Terrible kick, though. Too Set late. it up. Attack by Symes. Newman cleans it up. Handball not so good. Walker, look away. Handball. Riley, Sloan. Got players peeling on the open side. Well, Douglas is forward. Vince can go to Douglas. With space. He looks around and he realises he's got some space. Oh, and now can use it. Henderson's in the square. Good Fantastic play. handball. Oh, yeah, did he kick it. it? No. I think he clipped. No, he doesn't like it. Henderson is looked down in disgust. I thought the handball was good. I did too. I thought it was really good team play. Well, the handball must have been over the line. It must have been because I thought he got a, a foot on it. I think he just oh, missed shit. the soccer kick. That's a turnover. A of... Dangerfield, Symes, Henderson. Yeah. Having all the possession but not kicking goals. Oh, Stevens inside sweet. 50 and Tuck takes the mark. Yeah, right. I thought that was a perfect kick there. They had a loose play at Rory Sloan at half forward. Edwards. There's no doubt. Look at the ball holding up though. I think we have to not be too critical of these kicks today. The ball's moving about 10 or 15 metres in the air. We'll just have a look at the handball here from Richie Douglas. Oh, off the knee. Oh, he almost clipped that. I thought well, he got a, a think, piece of leather on it. I think he did too. Yes. Let's have a look. The first this angle's the best. Oh. Yeah. Uh, I, think the, I think the umpire made a good decision there. He's, his first initial kick didn't touch leather. Danger field towards the goal square. Just Thompson did. runs onto it. Forward pocket. Hands it back again. And it is kicked finally by Riley. It was a long time coming, but they got it there for the lead. Where the Tigers are really struggling is their kickouts. They're, they've kicked out a few times here, Richmond. You just see Dangerville kicking the ball to a dangerous spot. Great awareness here from Scotty Thompson. Give it to Riley and the old floater straight over the goal umpire's hat. They don't move the old floater kicks, but <laughs> the kickouts for Richmond are a real concern at the moment because they've had two kickings that are laid and it's gone straight back over their head for goal, so that's a bit of a worry. And that's a relief for Brent Riley. He came into this game without a goal for the year, hadn't been pushing forward and kicking goals. In fact, he kicked six behinds in the 17 goal games so far this season, so finally breaks that duck. Tuck. 
Wobbles it to half forward. Paul Pleasure. Ball bounce kindly for King. He snaps it for the instant reply. But he misses at more time. He certainly did. That's the beauty of our game. The unpredictable bounce of the oval ball. Paul Pleasure thought he was in the A grade position there to look at a leak break. Another centre clearance for the Tigers. Tucks out ten times already in this game. Rutten towards Bach, who needs to touch this if it's going out. He does and keeps it in. Webberly, White. That's better. McGuan, cut off by Douglas, who's having a better game as well. Richard Douglas, he's had back-to-back 31 possession games earlier this year when he was in form, but the last two weeks has had just 16 and 18 possessions. Richie Douglas. Well, Tucky's playing that mobile ruck again. He's had four clearances already, Shane Tuck, so it's obviously working for the Tigers at the moment. White wrapped up. Well, they're happy for Tuck to take the ruck in the forward line, and Angus Graham sit back in the hole. Now Graham's coming in to support Shane Tuck. So look for Tuck for going third man up here. He's on his own here, just to the left of screen, Shane Tuck. Dangerous ball up. Neither ruckman get near it. Danger field. Cousins was there, stolen by McKay, but It'll be coming back, and King has kicked one from just a little closer with the same angle. And the block the exits beautifully there, Richard, yeah. and that, that stoppage. I had a look at the coverage they had there. Deledio, Farmer, Newman, and Jake King. About 40 metres around the stoppage. All bases covered there for the Tigers. Good play. Well, you know, it's the old-fashioned wall setup, isn't it? You know, for that indiscriminate kick where the player's under pressure in defence, he just throws it on his boot. He set that wall up, and Jake King was in a good spot there to get the lead back for the Tigers. It'll be tough in this breeze. Oh. And the wind blows it. And it's just scraped through for a behind. And with those conditions, I was watching the Adelaide Crows half forwards. We had to go and man him up. Yeah. Well, just be in the vicinity every quick kick to try and help your teammates who are under pressure from that stoppage. Well, you look at this zone set up the Tigers have got all the players guarding in there. They got exposed terribly last week against Collingwood in the same fashion because of Collingwood's quick ball use basically. Dangerfield off hands to Gunston and Bock works it out of defence toward Griffin. Off well, hands again. Well the zoning defence in these Gunston conditions the is actually a positive yeah. because you can't pinpoint that short pass. So if the ball goes any more than 40 metres it's going to change its direction in flight. So a zoning defence is hard to get through. So right look here, for short you. passing the premium here today. Get behind Scott. Move away, guys, move away. Right Marich and Graham. Marich front spot, Graham fighting. Vince. Good give. Van Burlow, Symes to the midfield, needs to be good with the kick and the turnover, although the first game of Hicks, a little fumble, gave it to Edwards. So he gets out of it. White sat on this one. Bock with the punch. Webberly caught, gets it away to White. Cousins. Just outside 50, back to Hicks, unselfish to Newman. He's he give it kick. to the captain if the captain calls. Straight play. And the captain called in goal. And a big hug for the debutant. Uh, in that passage of play, the give by Ben Cousins was a cracker under real pressure. And you get the ball in the right hands. Robbie Hicks, I reckon, involved there. The, the box ball was a beauty, but Webley just read it really nicely. And this one here... Good give by White. Cousins just heard the voice as a good experienced player would do. Good give by Robbie Hicks. And he got into the hands of the right bloke. He's probably the best kick on the Tigers' side, the skipper. And that's a good finish. Liam, we talked about the ball use for, for Richmond the last couple of weeks. Hasn't been great. They're going at 57% at the start of the game. And the key is that passage of play. Get the ball into Delidio and Newman. They're their best kicks. And really hurt Adelaide on the scoreboard. Thompson the clearance. Tigers the lead in the shadows of quarter time and the shadows of these dark clouds that are hovering over the MCG. McKay attacked it. Edwards just as good. Oh, that's a bad a hospital ball. Great tackle. Gives it up to Asprey who... Oh, I thought he ducked, ducked into that. that. Yep. He definitely ducked in. You can see when he grabbed the ball, he ran backwards and the cranium came down. So I thought that could have been play on there. It was definitely head high, but I thought he helped by ducking into it, Asprey. Edwards. Asprey. First field. Got the exits really well here, Adelaide. Delidio. We'll have to switch again here. Asprey. 
into some trouble. They get out of it. Cartons, clever hands. Belidio and can Morton hit a target now under some pressure? He sits at Dangerfield, might jump four deep. He does. Brilliant grab. <laughs> Not a lot Jackie King could do, but a good tackle from King. That's all nice throw from Riley. It is. No advantage here. We're away here. We're Mason, Angus Graham Jackson. Rebold hasn't seen a lot of it yet, but he sees a big piece of it now. He did have Graham long, loomy right, Daniel Jackson, but when you see the key forward lead into space, that's your natural inclination. Tough angle. Right. What about King in from there, Kyle, with that breeze? Look, it'll be tough, mate, but uh, it'll be interesting. Jack's been in pretty good touch with the boot, so uh, I'm not too sure on the win, to be honest. Just the two goals last week. His worst return nice since nice. playing against Adelaide in <laughs> round seven. But that is splendid. That's a work of art, that kick. That's classic forward play. We, we saw an overhead shot with Threwalt leading into space. But more importantly, sealed the deal, and... See, Danger Billy marked the ball. He played on instantly, which is okay, but Jay King was there. And not look at the pressure of Jay King. He's kicked the goal already. He's grabbed another one because the ball turned over. It's gone straight down the other end. Daniel Jackson grabs the ball, and it's a beautiful kick to space to Jack Rewalt. Good play from Richmond because Adelaide have had 15 more disposals. It's great to have a marking target and the key forward, but it's great to have him on the kick straight. Yeah, he's just got a really uncomplicated kicking technique at the moment. 64 goals, 33. I think he's really working well for Jack Greenwell. So it's the first time he's really had an opportunity to get the ball. Another centre clearance. 5-2 oh, now. Two in the middle. And Martin to Edwards. Greenwell shrugged out of it, couldn't get a run. And Stevens takes the mark. And Hicks will have to try and take him out of the play in those instances. It's Schmidt, Rutten, Vince. Seconds continue to tick. We're down to 20. So time enough for an Adelaide turnover, but maybe not time enough for a score. Riley. Thompson. We're going to talk to Damien Harwick before we go to a break at quarter time. So we'll find out whether the Richmond coach is happy with what he's seen so far. For the outer side, Dowdy on the siren. But it's quarter time at the MCG, 11th. And 15th on the AFL ladder. A huge game for the Adelaide Crows. They win, and they'll be one win outside the eight with four rounds to go. But a massive game for the Tigers as well. They want to make sure they are well beyond Wooden Spoon territory. If they were to lose today, they'd be in Wooden Spoon territory as we head downstairs to Lee Colbert with Damien Harbour. Damien, you'd be pretty happy, I reckon, with that first quarter, given that you won the clearances, but they had plenty of the ball. Yeah, we did win the centre bounce, which is really good for us. Uh, probably didn't use a ball as well as we would have liked. Out of defence, we started going backwards, which which goes in the Crows' hands. They're very good defensively and squeezing you down. So we just need to take a bit of ground there a couple of times. But inexperienced, but we'll get better as the game goes on. Difficult conditions, but the upside and the room for improvement, I think that would be the positive out of that first two. Yeah, I think so. Look, I thought defensively we a few things went wrong for us. Forward line, we weren't working hard enough to keep that ball in there. So we'll address a few of those things at quarter time. Looking good in that iPad too, mate. Yeah, thanks, mate. <laughs> Quarter time at the Melbourne Cricket Ground, Richmond by eight points, 4 4 28 to 3 2 20. Graham tip it, tips it, Thompson kicks it. Perfect start. Big side of the line, fans, he does take him on, and well, I was going to say he won that battle, but it was an ugly kick. Henderson's in the square, Good fantastic handball. Oh, did yeah, he kick it? No. I think he kicked. No, he doesn't like it. Cousins. Just outside 50, back to Hicks, unselfish to Newman. He's to give it kick. to the captain if the captain calls. Straight play. And the captain called in goal. And a big hug for the debutant. Quarter time at the Melbourne Cricket Ground. And Richmond would be happy with their start to this game, given that the Tigers have lost 13 of the past 14 games against Adelaide. So a start that gives them confidence is exactly what they were after. Players moving back to position. Tigers by eight. They did well. Richmond, I thought it was going to be Adelaide. You can see there the uncontested possessions. That's Adelaide hitting short targets up. That's why they're winning that. The centre breaks, you've been all over that. The clearances for the Tigers line. Yeah, 5-2 out of the middle uh, tells you a good story. I reckon the Tigers, which is a strength of their game, they're very good in around the centre square. They haven't been so good around the ground at the boundary throw-ins and the like. Effective disposals. a tricky day here to get the ball use. You've got to get it right.
There's Jack Revolt there, already kicked the goal. The, the duel in the middle, it's a terrific one. Tuck and Thompson have both had 10 disposals and both kicked a goal, so outstanding duel. Media was... clearance for Martin. Mason Todd, it wasn't 15. Asprey yep. comes off half back, heads wide, and through Hicks's legs. Won't be happy with that. A debutant, Stevens, went for Doughty. Cousins cut it off. Doughty mops up that little mess. Stevens to Henderson. And now Cousins, as the rain starts to tumble here at the MCG, King lines up from 48. He goes with a pass to Morton, who runs in for the easy goal. Awesome start for the Tigers. It's a great start from the Tigers, but an errant handball there. I think it was Ricky Henderson. Handballed the ball Richmond's way. And in these conditions, we just see here, there's a lot of scrimmaging, a lot of loose players. Stevens out the back. Now, he's handballed the ball of Richmond's way to a two-on-one. Bad option. And it, it was all over. Jake King's having a great game. He's already kicked a goal and grabbed another one. Terrific kick there for to Morton. Ran into an open goal. So, great start, Richmond. Ordinary play, Adelaide. And the conditions there, Lee Cobb, it looks like the rain set in. Oh, yeah, it's getting great down here. <laughs> <laughs> it's like school camp. Lights have come on. Come on, toughen up, mate. Yeah, Man no. up, will you? I'll tell you what it is, though. The oh. Tigers, we saw them in the wet over in Adelaide against Port. Yeah. They love these conditions. They're in and under players. Free Tackle kick. Ball, Tackle without the ball, as you heard. Jackson dragging down McKay. See if Lee Cobb can turn the lights on as well. It's getting a bit dark here as Connors flies with Graham. Dangerfield left it behind. Martin threw some legs. Asprey. Morton, who kicked the last goal. And Kelvin Moore, very clever there. Just let it roll through deliberately for a behind. It was clever play. And he knew he was going to be under siege. Newman with the kick in. Adelaide zoning. And they've left Connors free in the pocket. What an impact Daniel Connors since he came back into this team. He hasn't been using the ball as well as he can. He's used it okay today, but... He's a talented player who will be important for them. Stevens, high to the square. Tippett can't get back in time. Thirstfield did, but dropped the mark. Dangerfield in a dangerous position. Taps it out. Kilmore averts that piece of danger. Delidio wide. Nason with Doughty in the fist. Wins out. Thumps it across the boundary. Yeah, that eight-week suspension, we know it was for drinking and fighting. And ben Cousins was involved, but it was... A big statement by the Richmond Football Club, and it was a good statement to have to make at that time of their development. So I'll turn their season around effectively. They started to really sharpen up in the skills. Just that kick from Stevens, everyone. I know it's wet and windy, but you've got to give Tippett an advantage. The ball went over Kirk Tippett's head, and Stevens is running in. You've just got to identify where Tippett is and kick it to his advantage. You can see there's a height difference, a weight difference. Just get the ball to grasp between Tippett and his direct opponent there in first field. Richmond by 13, the biggest lead of the game so far, if you've joined us late. Henderson and Douglas combined to get it a couple of metres inside 50. Asprey got there first but left it behind and it's towed out of play. We talked uh, earlier about the fact that Rutten and Bach and the, the Adelaide defenders will get back and get in front of Jack Rewalt. Well, Richmond are doing it very well as well with, with Tippett. I mean, Tippett's, the ball comes in long to Tippett. Newman's positioning himself five or six metres in front of the big fella. Tip it down to Dangerfield. Struck the tackle by Hamble to Cousins. To Asprey. Toward Nason. Bumped off it. Doughty. A floater inside 50. Henderson might go here. Off hands. Hits the deck. Symes. Hamble's to Sloan. Good set up. And he's missed. Good opportunity there for Rory Sloan. What was a better kick? He kicked the ball long to advantage. The ball came down in a real dangerous space. So... Tippett might not kick too many on the scoreboard today. We'll just let him create some goals with his height. McKay to Dangerfield. A ton of time, a ton of space, oh. and normally a ton of class. He ran too, he ran too far, did he? He needed to just kick it about five metres before he did. He'd already got the space. Yeah, about 20 more disposals just about. And last week, it's just about a copy, but they've had their opportunities here. You're right. Two two steps, three steps would have been enough. Yeah. You know, once he got steady, he was only going to be kicking from 30 metres. Love the way he plays. It was a good play by McKay as well, who's a, who's a really important player in this Crows lineup. Well, Adelaide have now had three shots on goal from Richmond kick-ins. So that's where Adelaide are really on top, and Richmond really struggled to get the ball out from kicking. 
Cousins not 15 to Nason. Jackson Still struggling. Run down by Douglas from behind. This is a real win for Adelaide. Now if they kick the goal, it goes back to the centre bounce. Obviously, if Adelaide kick a point, they want to kick a goal. Richmond are really struggling to get it out. Puts it up long. Henderson's got two to beat off hands. Dangerous spot and danger field. Sure. And he can't do it this time either. Tackled and dropped it. Connors caught by Henderson, slung, but the tackle was released. Graham to Asprey, that's poor. He should have given the handball there, Dangerfield. We saw Tyler Walker in the first quarter. He's in a good position. He's running away from goal. Sloan was on. Stevens. Look at the press the Tigers have got. They've got every player apart from about three in the back 50 here. Short, knocked away. Sloan attacked it hard and lays a tackle. Almost tied it up. Yench. Martin tries to strike Symes. Did so. Asprey, who kicked the last one out on the full, finds Webberley. Probably is now they've got to get their players. You can see them hunting back towards their own forward line now they've got the ball. They'd all push back to help out the defence. This is just a no percentage kick at all. One to four. Yeah, Ringholt was the one for pleasure. Corralled and got away with it. Van Berlo, Doughty, scoots his way past Revolt. Short, Symes, takes the mark. Short, Riley. So despite the swirling breeze and a slightly slippery ball, Adelaide just maintaining possession with short possession. That's a good camera angle, just to see what he's got in front of him. So he's got to go the long hit-up kick. Walker can't even get a run at it. Tippett well, does. Tippett. That was good play from Tippett, bringing the ball down. He was never going to mark it, was he? But he needed to commit to at least spoil it down. Well, he's identified. Umpire's gone here. Ball. Adelaide free. And well done, Kirk you, Tippett. He was out of position. Ball, Hit the ball down to see the umpire. You see he's out of position here. That's all you want from your big fella. Get the ball down to the coal face in these conditions. See Bernie Vince was Bernie ready to promise. Line up. This is very kickable. I know the breeze, we've talked about it a lot, but not a bad angle to be coming in from. From the paint. Gives it a good strike. Good hit. He kissed that as sweet as he's ever kissed one. Yeah, it's sort of something out of nothing, really, wasn't it? I mean, the Richmond player decided he dive on the ball, which in these conditions is sort of a half a habit, really. You can have a look at the contest here. I agree with you, Spud. It was a good contest by Kurt Tippett. He was out of business. Well done, Brown. He followed up. It was this one here. Can't quite pick up that player that dived on it. But once you do it, look, two of them had a piece of it. Even Bernie had a piece was. of it. It was the lead out was. Yep. But that kick was a beauty from outside. We're right on 50, really. We talked about a turning point for Richmond's season with the suspension of Daniel Connors. Well, Bernie Vince, likewise, turning point for Adelaide might have been when he was dropped for breaking some team rules earlier this year. For, so, for socialising? For socialising a little too hard with Matthew Yench, who was also suspended for socialising. Was uh, Graham John Cock as well involved in that? Uh, may have been, yes. Was named in the dispatches. I'll tell you what, they've all come back playing some decent footy. They have. It's almost worked wow. for both clubs. You might encourage it in future. <laughs> I don't think we'll be encouraging it, but... Proud to the Lydia. <laughs> Kick smothered. Yench, just as we were speaking of him, shorts it to Walker. Okay. And he takes the mark. And this is a massive kick. Adelaide, in the blink of an eye, can take the lead. Well, they won the Senate clearance, didn't they? I mean, that's the thing. Such an important part of the game. I seem to bang on about it quite a bit because I, I sort of get, in my view, it's, it's critical, that sort of stuff. Uh, I know the coaches do. Just get it in there quick enough. It just... The quicker you can get in, the, the harder it is for the opposition to actually push the numbers back, so your forwards actually do have some space. Same spot, Bernie Vince kicked one from moments ago. That is a spear, and Adelaide back in front. Identified the, the dangerous target then, and I think the Richmond players were clear Kirk Tippett, but just Aaron Hamble here, good, really good smart, the frontal pressure there. Scotty Thompson's having some sort of game as well. We just said Jens on cue. Just kick the ball to space. That's where the forwards want it. Kick the ball to grass. Allow Tyler Walker and Tippett to run onto the ball. They're going to be very hard to defend against. And more importantly, kick truly. So the last two shots on goal have been terrific. And the last thing Richmond need is Taylor Walker to start cranking up. 
He's kicked three bags of four this year, Taylor Walker. He's a talented player, isn't he? He had two goals four Fire. last week, so it was a little inaccurate last week, but that kick was magnificent to watch. Edwards, King, chased down by Thompson, shrugs him, runs to 50, goal square, Rewald can't jump, and Stevens, once again, Robbie Hicks, the first gamer, took his man back into Rewald space. Yeah, it's a little bit of a worry, Dwayne. We've called it a couple of times with Stevens marking the ball in the Rewald space. It's a, it's a big ask for, for Robert Hicks playing his first game to understand the mechanics of Stevens and how good he is at rooting the play in the air. Symes to Bock. Runs the outer side. Gunston showed the handball. Gives it in it's Walker's like direction. He got hands to it. Timber, they were both there. Handball over the top. And Douglas can finish this off. Magnificent movement all the way from defence. Just some real confusion and some confused looks in the Tiger defence at the moment as to what the hell just happened there. But I'll oh, go all the way back. Go all the way back to the run and carry from defence. Good play by Bach. really was. He'd run hard as well. Just a step inside by young Gunston. And you look here now, there's Kurt Tipp at the front spot. First field's on Walker, so where's he, where's the loose man? Kelmore. Kelmore was nowhere to be seen. I'm not sure. There he is, just on the screen now, trailing in. You can see there, Richie Douglas King that goal. But I think the real concern, and I know it's not hurting on the score at the moment, but is Stevens up the other end. Scott Stevens, he's the one that marked the ball. Don't hold! And it went straight down the other end for a goal. So when it starts to impact on the scoreboard, the coach's box starts to get a little bit trembly and, and twitchy in there to say we need to do something and identify who's on Scott Stevens and man him up. McKay to half forward. Huge momentum change in this game. Dustin Martin. Well, in the blink of an eye, really, Dwayne, with three goals in a row for the Crows. Here's Stevens again. Farmer, Morton, Connors, and wide to Webberley, and got Stevens high there and didn't yeah. give the free away. No, Lucky. The, the umpire was blindsided there. Definitely a free kick. Went hard at the ball, low at ground level. Ball one high. You can see here. Yeah, free kick. Every day of the week. Except this day. <laughs> Back into play. Brown doing yeah. some ruck work against Marich. Thompson slightly off the no. side. Douglas worked his way to the front. And it's a magnificent grab. He's having a terrific season, Douglas. He really is. Dangerfield peels onto this. It floated a little in the breeze. This is kickable. He knows it. The pass option is Tippett. Oh, Heads there. Well, please, please, you got on his way. And a free kick will go to one of them. Well, they're looking dangerous now. Adelaide, every time they're going forward, the ball is, the game's opened up. And it's opening up Adelaide's favour. Walkers went back hard here. Oh, that was good connection. I just see the way Taylor Walker led to the right. Well, who's in the wrong there, Spud? I mean, the, the kick was to the big fella. Ah, poor pleasure. He had to, be, had to identify that yeah. his eyes on the lead and look around and yeah. then just tread water. I agree. But, but normally they say... He didn't do a lot wrong, did he? First field there? No, no, nothing wrong. Give that free away? No. Well, it was good connection also. We saw Taylor Walker lead out of space, Tippett leading into, so... And that doesn't add to the why that causes every Richmond player to breathe a sigh of relief. Now, when you're a crummer, you've just got to identify the key forward. And you know they're coming out of the square, and when it's a high ball, you just have to have a quick look and then tread water, knowing that Tippett either marks the ball or the ball comes to ground level. If it does, it's poor pleasures. Doughty flies, McGuan flies, hitting the pack. McKay, front of the square, dragged under him by Morton. McKay gets it out to Schmidt. He's wrapped <laughs> up and Schmidt going nowhere. And we'll get a ball up. Chris Schmidt back into the team this week. One of the last remnants of Jason Ackermanis' career. He was the man the Brisbane Lions drafted with pick 34 that they got for trading Acker to the Bulldogs all those years ago. Kristen Schmidt and now... You've done well to be able to bring Acker into this call. Well, I thought I'd try my hardest. It, it, wouldn't, it wouldn't be a normal day at the moment without Acker getting some sort of mention in broadcast. <laughs> Lee Cole, have you got some chips down there? What are all those seagulls doing? <laughs> they've just appeared, Danny. I don't know what's uh, what's actually happened, mate, but, yeah, they've come from everywhere. Bring right, right, right don't up. argue. Comes up to Tuck, and there's no one forward for him to kick to. Stevens has only got the seagulls to beat here. Gee, they're everywhere. <laughs> Going I think on. Colby's bought a bag of chips. <laughs> this, they're guarding space at the moment, the seagulls. <laughs> Griffin to Doughty. Oh, Once again, Paul Pleasure alone amongst seagulls. So Sloan. That is hard to believe. Sloan's on his own as well. Oh, tough gather for him, and 
Sylvester Sloan can't make something of that and we'll get a ball in. I shouldn't have mentioned those seagulls now, Dwayne, because <laughs> all we can see is watch them now <laughs> instead of watching the ball. Plenty of them out there. They've descended early. Ball knocked down towards Douglas. Griffin. Look back again. Vince. Not a lot to go to. McKay. Likewise. Pumps it up long. Walker. That's hands were strong. Beautiful kick. Beautiful mark. Great positioning. That's a perfect passage of play. So just Richmond have dropped off in the zoning. Double teaming the, the key forwards. As we can just see the kick there. That is great use of the body from Taylor Walker. Just held more back. Felt the body, knew where the ball drop zone was going and then launched. So that is the perfect bit of footage to teach youngsters how to use your body and protect the drop zone. Took the mark in front of the ice, as far yep. out as he could possibly take it. But the punch couldn't come and can't finish the deal. Uh, that's well, that's really about the perfect passage of play, Dwayne. So he kicked it. But, uh, that was the sort of misses that they were having last week, the Crows. We see Tippett onto the bench. Deledio. Troubled times for the Tigers. They're coming off two horrendous defeats by 50 and 82 points. So their confidence a little down. Revolt, one of the men who might be able to get them back into it. But it's kicking to where he'd like to be, kind of. He wouldn't want to be getting all his balls at half-back. Jack Revolt, Newman. Asprey. He's got Kelvin Moore on the open side. Kelvin Moore gets there. Jackson's on this side in front of the commentary box. So Jackson might be able to get and go but bounces kindly. Walker corrals him. He spears it toward Graham and thumps across the line. We'll get a ball in. Well the big turnaround this quarter. Contested possessions. Adelaide 21, Richmond 11 yep. and that's equated to inside 50s. 10 to Adelaide 3 to the Tigers. Yeah. So they're winning the hard ball now Adelaide. This is where they've been very good at these sort of Boundary throw-ins, bounce downs around the ground. They haven't been so good in the middle, middle of the ground. The centre bounces, but their setups here have been pretty good. 43 to 34, Adelaide's biggest lead of the game. The Richmond got off to a flyer in the clearances. Adelaide are right back on song now. Flick down, Thompson, a wobbler, side of the boot, tracked down by Yench, who almost made something of it. Walker dragged down high by Asprey. In the, the past five weeks, Adelaide won a clearance from 41% of the stoppages, which is a great strike rate. Marich moved forward to full forward. One, oh. two, almost the third. Couldn't bring it in. Symes lays the tackle. Ball up. He did everything right there, Big Ivan. Todd Viney and Mark Bickley there, the midfield coaches for Adelaide. They've been terrific. You just see Look at this. great use of the body as well. Just didn't roll down the arm properly dangerous here. Marich wins that but down to Morton, hand to Farmer he ran into that high tackle McKay wrapped him up but he got the handball to Cousins from half back maybe he can inspire them, White he's got the one over the top, needs to be good or quick or clever, he is none of the three, I'm off that. Webberly he was lucky, right, Nason inboard, not the right option, gives to Brown the big man does good follow up though. good follow up, to Webberly Morton and now Rewald the target. Jackson stands under it. Rewald! Almost a huge grab. Stevens got the crumb. Gee, got a launch there. Griffin wide. Douglas. Ducks out of that. Henderson. Caught. Turnover. Still the Tigers a chance. Connor's clever pickup. Werribee. Webley, I should say. <laughs> Caught <Werribee>. by Vince. <laughs> got it up just in time to McKay. And dragged down. They are the Tigers. Yeah, we know Rewalt marks every second ball inside the forward 50. Yeah, he was up before acceptances. We'll give him the benefit of the doubt that we thought maybe he would have protected for Daniel Jackson, but it was probably Rewalt's ball in the end. And over Jackson's head. Jackson caught. Gets it out. Edwards caught. Thomas caught. Speaking of the VFL, which I didn't mean to, but <laughs> Graham Polak knocked out the five minutes in Richmond's reserves yesterday, Jeez. carried off, didn't come back on, may never play AFL again, which is one of the bigger Richmond stories of the weekend, for those unaware. Toward half forward, yeah, free kick's been found. Yeah. Kelmore is playing reactive footy on Taylor Walker now. He's on song, Taylor Walker. I'd be oh, putting him deep. Forward here, Spud. Have a look at this. Walker sits it up. 
And Dangerfield got a hands to it. Gathers the crumb. That's kept a his feet. Handball. Griffin a rare goal. Oh, no. He's missed. You can't miss that. <laughs> he did. It's harder to miss. <laughs> He's a big fella. Yeah, fair enough. It's his second miss from about the same spot. He should have three goals, goal. Griffin. Well, it is a hard one. It's a hard one to miss. You're right. Gee, that's a bad one. Well, you can't afford to buy your chances. They did it last week, cost themselves a match. When you're fighting for a spot, you're trying to make again. the eight. Sorry, guys. Right. No, when you're trying to make the eight, you've got to do everything right, Dwayne. And <laughs> Jack Rewald's trying to climb the free kick there. He cuts that off. I'm not sure he interfered with anybody with the jump. Delidio banged off it. Vince gives it up. Symes, low trajectory, danger field this time. Newman got back. Last line of defence. He looked up a number of times this quarter, and there's either been a tippet or a Griffin free. If they just identify the free player, we just see Rewalt. Yeah. <laughs> well, please, you look like we used to do in the backyard when you were a kid. Yeah, well, Here you go, jump on my back and take a specky. One thing about Jack, he's never <laughs> looked, going to be left wondering, though, whether he's going to take a high grab. Vince, Good Rory kick. Sloan gets in the hole, and Sloan Richmond, makes the mark. Richmond's half back line the last 15 minutes has been all at sea. I'm not sure whether they're, they've lost the thought of winning a contest or halving a contest. They're more worried about running on and on the turnovers there's been Adelaide players pushing hard back into space. In a time on second term, Adelaide for the last 15 or so minutes have had all the momentum and a massive opportunity for Rory Sloan Another Victorian boy, up way to Tacoma, Eastern Rangers. Back at the home of football. Strikes it okay. And it's across the face, though. Oh, that hurts. But they have absolutely dominated this quarter of football. There's still six and a bit minutes to go. But the contested possessions should be translated on the scoreboard. 30 to Adelaide, only 15 to Richmond, so that's double, and unfortunately they're not getting the reward on the scoreboard, Adelaide. Well, they're six, getting the shots. Six goals, ten, geez. Yeah, there should be five goals in front at the moment. Brown three, takes the mark. Three goals, eight for the quarter, Dwayne. Yeah, that it's Morton over the head of Webberley. Bach attacked it nicely. Wasn't all that impressive last week, but it's looked better today. Sloan flies, almost the grab to Connors. Slows lays, Sloan lays a tackle, and it's tied up. Walker, third man in there. It's half come out and half not. Sloan continues to barrel his way through. And in the back three. Jackson's ball. Sunshine appears again at the MCG. Cross from one back flank to the other. Farmer. Hasn't got a lot of free options and realises he might have to go backward. Goes to Jackson, set a half back. Touch ball for Thirstfield. Sloan came at him. Connors thought about the one two back to Thirstfield. Sloan corralled him nicely. Almost caused a turnover. Does now. Thirstfield to Lidio. He ran into a murder at Crows, but they didn't murder him. Tuck. Edwards. Slips a tackle, oh. wrapped up. There's that murder of Crows. Well, yeah. Again, they have gang tackled well in this quarter. We had three opportunities there, Shane Edwards. Now they've corralled well, they've tackled well. The last six weeks, I think it's their work rate that's really improved. They've got a lot of their better players back. The younger players are really running young and fit. And Walker's been firing as well. 30 goals for the season for Taylor Walker. Heads wide, Jackson peels back, tip it. Can't take the mark out of play. I'll tell you what he has done, though. His work rate's been really good. Kurt Tibbett, he, he re actually led there from the centre-half forward position to make a contest on the centre wing or half forward flank near the boundary line. So his work rate's right up. When you've got your work rate up and you've got talent, you've got half the chances to forward. Marriage free in the ruck. Had too much time to work out what to do. Edwards to Cousins. Connors. Long kicks Bock, though. And Bock goes and gets. Oh, beautiful in crowd. style. Magnificent mark said this week that he wants to stay with Adelaide but didn't say that he definitely will. Have a look at this. Magnificent. Extended the... Took the ball right in front of his eyes there, Nathan Bock. Gold Coast, of course, the rumour pursuing Nathan Bock and a few others. 
Thompson turnover, Galedia. Don't believe all the rumours you hear, right? No, but you can <laughs> sometimes believe there might be some fire where there's smoke. <laughs> Jackson White, bouncing ball, well, Rutten, know. beaten for it, White out of play, just on block. It was interesting, a month ago, he did write an article in the Sunday Mail almost bragging about the fact that he went fishing instead of doing rehab. It was an amazing article. It was, considering uh, Favola and Jonathan Brown have both flown to Adelaide to have treatment to try and get their hips right, so I found it a bit surprising. He went hit. fishing and surfing instead of groin treatment. It was... Uh, you couldn't argue too much about the article because he went with a couple of teammates and an Adelaide Crow official. So if the Adelaide Crow official went with him, then you'd have to say they ticked off on the surfing fishing trip. Schmidt. He's back on the ground. So yes, he's, true. Uh, he's obviously worked. <laughs> so a throw, free kick. With three minutes left on the clock to Adelaide at half back. Riley. So they've dominated, but they haven't necessarily translated that to a huge lead approaching half time on the scoreboard. McKay taken out, ball in. Well, the accuracy in front of goal, it's the only area that Neil Craig can, can throw at his boys at half time because. Thompson's had 16 disposal, Symes, a couple of Richard Boyd, Delidio and Tuck 15 each, which saw Cousins and Edwards 14 each, but they've dominated this quarter, Adelaide, but really haven't put Richmond away in the scoreboard. Gunston slung, Tuck collects, and inside 50 finally, but Stevens. That's going to be the way for Damien Hartwig at half time, Dwayne. What to do with Stevens? And this is a beautiful release yeah. kick to Henderson, who can get and go. Work is clear in the forward line. Plenty of players to go yeah, to. Riley, he kicks to Paul Pleasure, who can also get and go if he wants to. Thinks about it, but we'll go back and have the see. Played on. Yeah, that played Opened on? the angle too much, according to the umpire. Sits it up, tip it over his head. Gee, that's costly. And Paul Pleasure looks at the umpire in despair. Well, gee whiz, you're allowed to go back yeah. at least. You're allowed to look, aren't you? Surely. I didn't think he'd go off the line, but... For the, for the real worry in the game, Stevens has taken six marks in Richmond's 450. There's this another collect out of the ruck. <laughs> Tip it. Misses the goal. So that's the real concern for the Tigers. Who, to get a forward that's dangerous, I'm just see here. Now, has he gone off the mark? He hasn't even been set up for the mark, so I can't see how that could be off the line. Well, that was a little nasty from the umpire, that one. It didn't have to be played. Jackson. I cannot remember four times where a throw in, nearly in the goal line has been just yeah. taken out of the ruck by the Crows. Wobbly, wobbly, and Rutten. He was tackled well by Robbie Hicks initially, and we'll get a ball up. Robbie Hicks, as Rutten drops this, jumped in and didn't get him high, according to the umpire. And the ball up. Dangerous last minute and a half here. Tuck spears it inside 50. McGuan got hands to it. Schmidt the crumb just got away to Dowdy. Tackled, dropped it, gone. Now uh, holding the man. She he looked to drop that after he was tackled. Yeah, I think the, the initial tackle when he you're right, when he did tackle him, he had it, but then it, it comes out. So the ball's forced out there and he kept going on with the tackle. So I've got no issues with that. With that. Initially it was spilled out. He held the tackle far too long. The natives are getting a little restless here. Symes wide, Rutten. It doesn't look like there's many here, but they're all up behind the, uh, at the back of the grandstand there. Or the Tiger Faithful. Trying to steer clear of a little bit of cold wind. And fair enough too. Symes. Henderson. Down to a minute. Booze continue to ring around the MCG. Yeah, for the moment, the bad well, weather. just kick this one. And the Seagulls have departed. Asprey got a hand on it. Dowdy. Handball out. 45 seconds. Edwards. Webberly. Gone. So the last chance of a score for Adelaide. Oh, He's Tippett. Riley thumps it long. Tippett in a one-on-one. -on -one. Got a hand to it. Hands. Gets it back. Gives it to Sylvester Sloan. <laughs> Uh, it's a magnificent goal, and it's been the tackling pressure, corralling pressure of Adelaide through the middle of the ground. That's all Kirk Tippett has to do. You just see here, where we try and take on, tackle the hips, and you're right, Dwayne, it's been one, two, three Adelaide players. This is a magnificent kick here.
from Riley, just kept it to tip it, brought the ball down, pumped his own ball, handballed the ball to Sloan. Great team goal, that. They really deserve that, Adelaide. They've dominated this quarter. They had to get some scoreboard pressure against the Tigers, so... It was a great uh, contest by Big Tippett there because not only did he force the ball to the ground, but he then put a nice block on for Roy Sloan to run into the open goal. What I liked was a Riley kick. Didn't muck around. He saw he had a one-on-one. -on -one. They couldn't get the numbers back in front of Tippett, so he just banged it in long. Cousins caught a little high. Umpire said no. Cousins doesn't argue, which may be an indication that couldn't be bothered. Yeah, well, the scoreboard's getting an indication where yep. the game's at as well now. Edwards, short. And the clock ticks down at 10. And Symes. He's been outstanding, Symes. Dowdy. And he can take the remaining seconds off the clock. It's been a fantastic second term for the Crows. They know finals are on offer still. Win today. I'll be one game outside the eight with four rounds of football to go. Half time at the MCG and the Crows in control 7 11 53 Richmond 5 4 34. Welcome back to the Melbourne Cricket Ground. A few pieces of sunshine poking through the clouds after the clouds won the battle for most of the opening half, and Adelaide has won the battle for most of the opening half. Here at the MCG, they hold a 19 point lead at half time. Even though the Tigers did lead by eight points at quarter time, and the Tigers opened up a 14-point lead early in the second term before Adelaide put the Jets on. And at seven goals 11, they should be further in front of the Adelaide Crows. Richmond still in the firing line. And Richmond, unfortunately for them, even though they had an outstanding winning run of four games in a row, after losing the past two by 50 and 82 points, They've got the worst percentage of the three Wooden Spoon contenders. And they're still the favourite to win the Wooden Spoon. Richmond lose, and they could be bottom of the AFL ladder tonight. The West Coast Eagles and Fremantle play later on today at Subiaco. If the West Coast Eagles win that and Richmond lose this, then the Tigers will be bottom with four rounds of the season still to be played. Already seen some changes in this game, guys. The weather's changed three or four times, and the lead has changed a couple of times. The Tigers look strong when they led by 14 points, but Adelaide by 19 as we are about to start the second half. Well, they got their running game going, Dwayne, in that uh, second quarter, the Crows. And when they got it in there, they were able to hit the scoreboard. Unfortunately, they kicked a lot of points. Four goals, nine. So 13 shots at goal from 16 entries is a great result but they just they, and they blew a couple of easy ones too I mean Griffin's missed two from the goal square basically so he should have three goals the big ruck but he's looked pretty dangerous down there uh, but they are dominating this game Damien Harden will need to try and find a way to stop the run of the Crows and where Adelaide dominated the game because it was contested possessions 44 to 22 in that second quarter for the first half 72 to 53 Richmond started well as you said the first 10 minutes and then it was all Adelaide in that second quarter. The only thing Adelaide didn't do in that second quarter was, was nail them for the goals. You know, seven goals, 11. They should be 11-7, which would just about put it beyond reach for Richmond. So Richmond really need to start winning that hard ball. Adelaide win today. They will at least look like avoiding their lowest finish ever in Adelaide Crow history, which was 13th under Malcolm Blight the year he parted company with the club. They've never won less than eight games in a season, Adelaide. And they come into this having won seven and lost ten. So this for win number eight with four rounds to go. Both teams can resurrect their season big time with a good finish. Half in shade, half in sunshine. Second half underway. Heard the umpire call as Sloan dives in, wrapped up. Hit the late goal on that second term to... Help the lead poke out to 19 points. It stands right now. If you have joined us late, this is the biggest lead of the game. Well, Tippett started forward. Now he's in the ruck with Griffin, which opens it up for Walker and Dangerfield. Full forward to Adelaide. Graham got it from Martin. Oh, there's Long. Stevens again. Stevens has been picking them off all day. Martin. It's like one of those seagulls, Graham. Martin almost went down and picked off his own crumb. Crumbed his own kick forward. Yeah. <laughs> 
But it's Stevens is a real worry there. And, and look, you got the first game running, Hicks still. So Jack Rewalt began a little bit frustrated by that. Well, Rewalt started about 15, 20 metres in front of the goal square, and they've thrown David Asprey forward into the goal square as the other marking tallish target. Graham's telegraphing the fact that he wants to give it to a handball target. Here's Stevens. And it sits on Rewalt. Stevens takes an easy grab. Well, that's the eighth mark inside their forward 50, so well, not his best kick. Yeah, King cuts it off and should goal with a banana. He's second. Well, Damien Harvard will leave whoever's on Stevens there if he continues to kick the ball like that. It was done a cut because he's normally a very good kick, Stevens. He's had a lucky game. Little Jake King because he's kicked the two goals, he's created another two as well. And you see Stevens pick off Jack Rewald again, double team him in the air, which he's done all day. Just kicking off one step. That's a lazy kick. Should have went to Paul Pleasure to the right of screen. Bad start. I guess the problem is for the Crows, although they've dominated, when you don't put them away on the scoreboard, it only takes a couple of kicks, and all of a sudden it's game on again. And that's exactly where we're at at the moment. 13 points. And you can sense that everybody in this ground knows exactly that. Game is alive again after a good start to the third. And we'll get another ball up. Scott Stevens, his worst possession game of the year was against Richmond in round seven. Had a seven possession game that day and he's been pretty good for the whole year outside of that game. And he'd be hoping... Richmond don't get a run on from his mistake to start this third. We just saw Patrick Dangerfield there. He's full forward, so let's put the big guns down there, Neil Craig. Got Taylor Walker, Patrick Dangerfield at full forward, and Tippett at centre forward. So if they can get some quality ball, they've got some good targets to hit to. Douglas kicks too. to one of those targets in Walker, misses it, Tippett the other man. Pick your poison, they're both down there. And Tippett did get a kick away there. Jens caught a little high, but he ducked backwards into it. And now he might out. be gone. Well, I'm not sure he had prior opportunity then, though, did he? Well, I'll have a look. So. You're right. It's an ineffective kick there from Kirk Tippett. Where's yeah. his prior opportunity? No, no, no whatsoever. He may have backed in so that the high free wasn't there, but the only was a thing, ball up. The only thing there, Dwayne, but when you hit the ground, you've got to make an attempt to yeah. try and get the ball out. The umpires are red hot on that. Well, that was more than red hot. Yeah, he definitely never had prior. But once you go to the ground, they, the umpires still want to see you making an attempt to try and clear the ball. Still got to, in 50-50, go the way of the man who attacked the ball in the first place, yeah. Newman. We saw Ben Rutten in that second quarter. When he went to ground, it's like a rugby union scrum. Get the ball out. Tuck long. Graham's down there with Rewalt, oh. so they've got two tools. Rewalt the steal. Graham collects. He rolls it wide. Ball in. Uh, Angus good Graham. Second, uh, good second effort there from Graham. Big half to play here. They've dominated in the ruck today, Adelaide. They dominated in the ruck when these two teams met earlier this year. He ties up, and Jackson scoots through and makes it Jackson's footy. We've got cuts on the line. It's hard to believe the players go low what? when they can go high. Well, uh, they uh, practice all these shots during the week, the, the trick shots, yeah. but... <laughs> What's wrong with a normal drop punt and just sail it over the goal umpire's hat? Yeah, that's the one I don't want to look at that because uh, that seemed to be a very low percentage. And I, th I think I saw Buddy Franklin do one yesterday. yesterday. Nearly cost Hawthorne the game late, yesterday. Late in the game, yep. Buddy tried to dribble one through and I think it was Chaplin got around and yep. cut, cut it off. You've just got to punch through the ball. You can still banana high and yeah, side high. Yeah, absolutely. Well, that was a goal that I think most Richmond fans and almost... Every person at this ground penciled in when he collected it. Gunston. Good, Good running. Well, it was great running for Bob. He's got a couple of options long. He goes with a short walker. Takes a good, strong grab. Takes yeah. off. That was Inside. Riley. He's got Dangerfield he's in the square. Yes. Thirstfield feeds back. Doesn't get there in time. Oh, that's great play. Dangerfield thought of taking off. He'll go back and have the shot. Well, we saw a package at half time, coast to coast. It was magnificent there from Dangerfield. Here's that other one. Now, Jackson's got through. He's done the hard work. Yeah. Oh, roll. No, no. Yeah. That's the one you just kick over there. Exactly right. But coast to coast again, and that's a real concern. Bob got the one-two, which David Harvey won't be too happy with. 
Someone should have ended up dropped his run after the first disposal, but he's put Dangerfield full forward, and now he's going to have impact on the scoreboard, Neil Craig. And he misses. You can't blame the wind when you're kicking from there. It was impact on the scoreboard, but not the one he was looking for. One behind. Lee Colbert. Ricky Henderson actually just came back out onto the ground, boys. He didn't come out after half time. He's been in, inside. He's just getting a rub on his left leg now, so I'll just keep you updated to see how he's travelling. Torpedo to the centre circle almost from Newman. Oh, fantastic kick. And that's exactly what Richmond would have wanted to get it all the way there and tie it up to start again. Well, that's magnificent. Have a look at this. It's unlo unlike Daniel. It's such a beautiful kick. Saw Collingwood last week do that. Like that. A big, good, a big barrel from uh, from the centre, and they knocked it over. And you've got all your loose players in the forward line because the zone's pushing up. So it, pleasure. it can go straight back over your head just as quick. But if you can get it, and knock it on. You do have loose players forward of the ball. Griffin left free, almost took the step to play on. Walker in a one-on-one. -on -one. Thirstfield, Thirstfield wins out with the fist. It. Edwards through traffic. Cousins. Half back, Tuck, Asprey, Bock comes at him, Martin hacks it forward, but Griffin was waiting for that. Adelaide had set up their zone and Martin played into their hands. Thompson, block 15. But Rutten wide. And Rutten can get and go. Ton of space. He's got long ball options. Sloan is one of them. He puts it to Sloan and Sloan's equal to it. Richmond get back, they zone up, Douglas calling for it long, he goes short, and it's cut off by King. No, you've got Dangerfield, Tippett and Walker inside your forward 50, and you go short to a 50-50, I can't understand that. Rewalt to Deledio, Richmond on the rebound, can they make them pay? King, who cut it off initially, worked hard to get back to half forward. 50 from goal, play on, you went round, the umpire said... Asprey in the goal square, got hands to it. Schmidt, stolen, rolled through by Jackson. Should have kicked the last one, make sure of this one. Great goal from Richmond. Neil Craig would have spent all half time thinking about, we've dominated the play, I'll, I'll load up the forward line. I'll load it up with Dangerfield, Tip and Walker. So you see a short pass here from Sloan. That, that's a, a disgraceful option because you've got your three tools down there for a reason go to them, you didn't, you've turned it over you've paid the ultimate price for your team and now, more importantly, you've let Richmond into the game, all the momentum's now with Richmond and that's the time you can go with a little dribbler, when you've got no other option you can dribble it between someone's legs but going back to that, uh, that kick by Sloan, which wasn't a good option Jake King intercepted the ball worked from the half back flank Ended up getting a mark on the half forward flank. He was the one that kicked it in long. That was just terrific work right by Jake King. A couple of huge let offs for Richmond. Sloan's poor pass and Dangerfield's poor shot. Well, Neil Craig on the bench down there would be seeding because he's loaded up the forward line. As you said, Dangerfield missed the first shot on goal. And then you've got your three tall down there to reason to go to long to him and you turn a short one over. Marat almost threw that down to Vince. Poor pleasure playing forward now. Dangerfield back, oh, cracks into trouble. Oh. Oh, he took the back step. That was his prior. Yeah, they've, they've, they've opened the door here for yeah, Richmond. Yeah, they certainly have. Chris Not unlike the, the batsman who's having, getting 40 every week. Thinks he's going all right until he gets a couple of ducks. <laughs> well, all of a sudden, the average goes back to 20. Well, the second quarter, they dominated the play out of late, and now it's hurting them on the scoreboard. Rewalt in a one-on-one, -on -one and Rutten, the fist wins. Get a ball in. You have to join us late, Jack Rewalt, just the one goal so far. Neil Craig back on the bench with Todd Viney. Yeah, got the big Hover coats on there with Lee Colbert. Pretty fresh down there by the look of it. And oh, a perfect palm it? revolt to oh, Cousins. Oh, and it feeds again. back beautifully. It's a one-point game. Where are the sweepers? We, I've seen Jackson miss a shot on goal. And now Cousins, who has had a very good game, Ben Cousins. You see the, the rucked up there from Marich. Revolt over the top. No one goal side, no one sweeping. You've got Bernie Vince on Cousins just allowing Cousins to run into a goal. And then there's no sweeper. So very ordinary set up there for the Adelaide Crows. But great play from Richmond. Great play from Ben Cousins. Credit where it's due.
story that the proposed limiting of interchange might end his career at the end of this year. No follow-up story this week that the proposed shorter quarters might extend his career, but he <laughs> exactly. might have shorter quarters next year. He's had a good game. He's playing well. He's had 17 touches, but he's been involved in everything. And the crucial touches, they're even more important, and he normally makes them count. Tuck. Well, about all the momentum now, which was those couple of let-offs early. Adelaide by a point. Rebolt stays down. The flick down, Schmidt. Bock. McKay. Not sure how many goals are going to get out of Edgar Strahm as a, a forward option, but what it does, it's making Adelaide think a bit about it because he's got such a big presence, a big body. Pretty simple game. They got smashed in the contested possession. We'll see a 50 there against Jack Rewalt, but already at the start of this third quarter, 11 contested possessions, Richmond only four to Adelaide. So Richmond have up the ante. They've had 10 inside 50 to five for three goals. Van Bello makes the most of the 50 for pleasure. Fantastic hands. How does that happen? We've got a 50 murder. The, the game's been stopped for 20 seconds. We see a Jack Rebolt. Yeah, definitely 50. Do you know how does it happen? Because because he was arguing the point, he couldn't quite get in front of Bernie Vince. So Bernie Vince then can uh, able to play on and bang it in as quickly rather than have to go back and kick off the man on the mark. He needed someone to give him the chop out and stand on the mark. Or don't argue. <laughs> or don't argue. Yeah, that's yeah. a good point. <laughs> don't argue. Just run back and get on the mark. <laughs> we know Jason Paul Pleasure is a dead eye normally. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> right, now, let's get out of lead, Colby, because when the porpoise is missing them by 30 metres, Colby, that must have sprung up that wind. I'm guaranteeing you it's not that bad, but uh, for Jason Paul Pleasure to miss it by 30 metres, but uh, it is blowing. Might be the story of his season. He was a dead eye last year, but this year he has been dropped, of course, after having an almost all Australian year last year. Stevens. And they work this across to Gunston, who could go if he wants to. Kick smothered. Gets it back again, Gunston. Schmidt. A high ball inside 50. Ball pleasure again. Oh, yes. Big pluck. He's, yeah. The C's just parted for him there. You could just see it. He was going to mark it. He won't make it blue this time. Wasn't a bad option by Gunston. Just bang it in. Oh, sorry, that was the wrong one. Who was the one that banged it in long in the end? Schmidt banged it in. He just got a good run at it. We'll put him down for this one. Well, just get you a little uh, forearm out, punching in under the breeze. You watch his, how hard he Three quarter swing. Nice. Yeah. Beautiful. Wind tried to play with it. It did. But they're back out by seven. That was a clever kick. It's windier. He just got a little forearm out, three quarter swing, and just punched it in under the breeze. It was a beautiful mark from Paul Pleasure. He started, started in the half-back line. Now he's pushed forward, and it's had even instant dividends. You can just see there, Kirk Tippett. Yeah, beautiful grab. Beautiful grab there, Paul Pleasure. Outstanding. He's gone to full forward now. Dangerfield started there, so Dangerfield's having a run around the midfield. Paul Pleasure at full forward, tip it and walk her up the ground. Graham and Marich. Martin had a piece of it, goes back, gets it, but can't find a handball target. Connors through Yench really nicely. Right. Delenio. A high bomb again. And Burlow, Jackson, ball hits the deck. Dowdy. Schmidt set up the last one. Rutten. Go to the open side, Bach. Sines. Having a good day at the office. Brad Sines will be possession number 19. And he needs some luck. He's had some injury problems in the last 12 months. Marich. Oh, I need a fly there, Jackson. He's never going to outbody Marich. Short Sines. pass. Douglas. Runs into some traffic. Gets out of it. Sends it long. Walker. Edged under it nicely by first field there. Allowed McGuan to feed to the back. And now Morton can get and go. Half back flank. He's got Newman three options the on the wing. Easy. Edwards goes down Newman in a two on one. Well done, Edwards. Griffin was the one. Newman looks up, thinks about Rewalt, goes shorter instead. First game of Hicks can't half volley it. Dowdy beats him to it. And it's tied up. No, it's not. It's holding the ball. Yeah, well, they didn't show any attempt whatsoever. They're very tough. 
You know, it's windy when Chris Newman's not hitting targets. He's the best kick in the Richmond team. A uh, sputter. We talked in the second quarter about Adelaide getting on top of the clearances. Not in this quarter. 7 2 in favour of the Tigers. Short pass to Hicks. Feeds it off. Cousins from 50. Across the face. Brown. And he had the jump, Brown, but he couldn't get hands on it. Well, it's not rocket science. The clearances, the contested possessions in Richmond's favour this quarter. Adelaide smacked the Tigers in the second quarter. A tough road for Andrew Brown, made his AFL debut in front of 88,000 here at the MCG round one last year and then didn't play another game for the rest of the season. A long that... wait for game three. White, King, Martin, Jackson Walks could go for goal. goal. Keeps it low again. Oh, no, Rewalt so tried the magical. Hooks. And oh, boy. First Ready. gamer, first goal. <laughs> Good front and square then, Robbie. It's great to see all the Richmond players. Just about every player has gone round. The first game there, we saw the Richmond legend Dale Wakeman before the game present <laughs> Robbie Hicks with the 45 jumper and we're christening the, the new Flea. The new Flea Wakeman. That was Flea Wakeman like the way he crumbed that. I'm not sure what Rewalt was trying to do there, but it was a terrific spot there from Robbie Hicks. Well done, young fella. Uh, good on him, for Robbie Hicks, boy from Duda Stars, I believe. Famous club here in yeah. Melbourne around the Eston area. Colder Cannons also. Jack, I think Jack Raymond thought he was going to do a bit of Palais type work there before. I'm not sure what Jack was doing, but uh, good to see the young fellow. Look, Robbie looks about 12 out there, doesn't he? <laughs> Most all those big men. <laughs> he was excited before the game, was he? He was. Yench let that go. Farmer, Yench, ball rolled out. McGuan, first field. Walker lays a tackle and dragged down. So it's from Let's have a look at from half uh, forward here. Rewalt saw the ball coming. Okay. Decided for the miracle. Yeah, great percentages there for Jack. And maybe Robbie Hicks was aware that Rewalt would try that. Vince, he kicks around the body and hits the behind post and will get a ball in. Well, Robbie Hicks was at the spot where Freewalt was going to mark the ball and it was spoiled, it was going to land. So 10 o'clock to 2 o'clock in that area. The clearance is Adelaide desperate to win a clearance in this third quarter. Brown knocks it down, but again Adelaide win the clearance. Danger for with the bouncer. They're back out to a goal lead. It's amazing in a close tight game, the amount of goals or well, shots on goal from clearances inside the forward 50 today. Mm. I mean, no sweepers. That, that was a, nothing to do there. That was just a classic bit of play from Dangerfield. The positioning was terrific on Dangerfield's direct opponent. He was goal size, so Dangerfield's come from the back of the pack and turned Cal Moore around. It was just a beautiful, classic snap over your shoulder. We get a great look from this angle here. Starts behind and loses Cal Moore in transition. talked a bit about Adelaide's chances of making the finals. They win today, they're one game outside the eight, but their last four games, the Bulldogs at Amy Stadium next week, Brisbane at the Gabba, Collingwood here at the MCG, and then St Kilda at Amy. So it's a toughish run they've got after this. They desperately need this one. A high tackle on McKay. Vince. Caught by Martin. Back to McKay. Gets through Nason. A little too easily. That hurts. Hands it off, a little one-two with Van Burlo. Short, Symes, played on, back in the trouble. Van Burlo tries the spear. Dangerfield outreached by Connors. Well, it was a good mark. The kick just wasn't weighted to Dangerfield's favour, though. He led beautifully. He just had to kick the ball to grass. It just went over the top of Dangerfield's head. Not, not a lot he could do there, Dangerfield, but well read by Connors. About to tick it a time on third term. King got one high there from Doughty. Throws it out. Symes, got it from Van Burlo, gives to Thompson, long ball, goal square, Dangerfield can't get back in time, behind. They've, they've lifted, their work rate's lifted now Adelaide, they're starting to win some contested ball, the clearance, clearances at the start of this quarter, 6-1, to one. it's now 8-5, to five. so they've started to lift the work rate around the coal face. Newman entrusted with the kick in. Heads wide, Brown's the target. Needs to go, Griffin got there 
Almost the mark, and Brown wins it. Morton. Nothing to kick to, though. Rutten standing under it, and Marks with ease. A fumble. Got Dowdy in the middle. So Dowdy can go. He's got Bock out wide. Now Bock can go wider if he wants. He wants to come inboard. Vince, some space. Tip it. The target goes. Hands to it. Couldn't mark it. Delidio Crum. Tuck. Jackson. Edwards is going to push. Was it Hicks? It's going to be pushing into the fourth on his own if he can mark it here. Rewald oh. does brilliantly. He's on his own, Robbie Hicks. And yeah, Hicks feeds up. Can Weberly oh, give it no. to him? Weberly way too wide. Hicks pocket. Still keeps in. it alive. Has the snap. Almost across the face. McGuire fumble. A behind. But he did well there, Hicks. Well, and he had to sprint. He has a 10.7 second hundred to his name, Robbie Hicks. He is ultra quick. Could have represented Australia at the Pacific Games, but chose to stick around and play at footy for Vic Metro. So he well, can't he put the Jets on. Yeah, he needed a 10 forward line after that kick from Webberly. Yeah, that killed him. Drag down on the wing. That should have been a goal. No two ways about it. He had space, he had a, had a two on one, and just steady. Well, the problem is, we, you come into this game, you talk about which we need to tidy up their ball. This, this sort of stuff is unforgivable. You can see at the top of the screen there. He's got to keep it somewhere near him. I mean, that stuff just kills you. He Get did him. well to keep it alive. He did. Yeah, he did, but the kick should have been a, it should have been a simple mark. Go back and then kick it to the free player in the square. Right, kicks long. King in a one-on-one. Van Berlo. Good King game, beats him. King. Can he find a chest to put it on? Low trajectory. Stevens can't get there. Rewalk clean ball nice fire. Time. Back Hicks again. Uses some speed. Wrapped up though. Stevens drags him and the ball down. Ball up. I reckon he'd win the speed race with Scott Stevens. Not sure he'd win the strength race. Yeah. And we see here, he just needed to be really clean here. And he needed a good bounce. But it was good closing work by Scott Stevens. I think Richmond, if they kick the ball along the ground, Stevens is in trouble with his speed. <laughs> Dowdy, Van Berlo, both had a piece. Van Berlo tried to shuffle it out. Comes clear to Jackson. Overran it. Paul Pleasure, nice collapse. Numbers here for Adelaide. Thompson gives it wide. Douglas inboard. Marich. Sloan's on if he can find him. Marich, a wobbler, but it's straight, if you know what I mean. Sloan can go for goal. Being run down. He takes out Newman. The handball was poor, though. Well done, Henderson Newman. back in. Sloan dragged down by Webberly. He's got it. Tries to give it out. Farmer, this game's lifted a gear. Oh, it's terrific play from Newman. King wide. Graham back in board. Webberly. Rewalk calls for it long. It's a high bomb. Needs to compete. Edwards. Bock was there and he gave away the free. Well, oh, it's lifted. The intensity. Both sides can sense a win here. You can just see Newman putting pressure on, putting Sloan in two minds. Just... What he should have done is kick the ball to one and one to tip it. I didn't want to handball the ball. Did. If the handball was good, that was a clever move. Well, I like the unselfishness of it, but I, I've got to disagree with you on this one, Dwayne. I reckon when you're running to 50 and you play that you're going to handball to is behind you, yeah. you've got to take the responsibility to kick the ball and make the right decision. And then you've got tip it one on one. He's the only player inside the 450. So, yeah, look, he's made a, mis- a good mistake by tr- trying yeah. to bring his teammate into the game. High and wobbly, and then Van Berlo, a bouncer. Gunston got it from Tippett, kicks it across Walker the face. On the ground too. And Dangerfield takes the mark. There's Walker. He's been a little wobbly. These kind of kicks have troubled him. Well, if he goes to school on poor pleasure, again, just a three quarter kick. You've got to keep it low. If he goes for a high trajectory, the wind's going to come into play, so try and punch it through. Kick one goal, two. Plus an out on the full for memory. Yeah. He's missed a couple from this sort of spot, hasn't he? To push it back out to a two goal lead. Massive kick with 25 minutes gone, third term. Oh. And that's not how it says to do it in the manual. Well, you can see the ball drop there with the wind. If you've got any deficiency whatsoever in windy conditions, the ball drop. Well, you saw the last goal that Paul Pleasure kicked. The way he guided the ball yeah. through his foot and was, that's, was sensational, really. Just punched it through. I think you described it as a little sandwich. Yeah. And, and, and look, I was lucky enough to see the greatest goal kicker of all time, Lockett. He nearly kicked the ball out of his hand. Mm. He would just lean over the ball it was, and nothing moved at all. And, and if you've got any deficiency in the, with those conditions with the wind, you can see the high ball drop. 
as soon as it drops, the wind takes a little bit of control and it's only an end over end. That actually was a great description because when you saw the ball, you saw it wobble yep. as it hit his foot. And when it's windy like that, you know in the back of your mind that your technique's not great. So he needs to work on that, Patrick. Newman to Morton to Jackson. Great Run save. down. Got the handball away. Got a good handball away. Connors to McGuan. Play on advantage. McGuan gives it up. Webberly from 45. Good hit. You bet. Score the level. Oh, that's a magnificent goal. Through the middle of the ground. Took the tackle on. Get the handball. And Webberly. Sends a relief there because he went for the young Hicks about five minutes beforehand. He would have known that the ball use wasn't great. And just see the pressure here. Tuck, he was the one that won the contested ball. Deledio out to the runners, to Newman. Morton, they just wore the tackle there. Jackson was a great tackle, but great strength. Just got the ball over the top. Just kept the ball going. Richmond's favourite. Terrific goal. Get down to Lee Cole, but that, that Tiger crowd that doesn't look like a big one here, but they're all there, Cole, but they're right involved. They're just waiting, Pickers, they're just waiting to get a nose in front and then they're going to make some noise, but the breeze is certainly to the right of screen, so favour Adelaide in the last turn. A throw by 19 points at half time, Richmond scores a level, 28 minutes on the clock, 2.45 left to three quarter time. Vince, Sloan, Douglas, short, Gunson the target. Fist away to Newman, caught by Sloan, just manufactured a handball, Tuck, Moore, got back from Asprey and ran it away. It's a great result, 12 inside 50s this quarter, Richmond, for 8 scoring shots, that's a bit of a concern for Adelaide's defence, good strike rate, well, 5 like, goals 3. I don't like the pros in that second quarter where they went in 16 times for 13 scoring shots for 4 goals, 9, they've kicked 5 goals, 3 in those 8 scoring shots, so they've put them through when they've got it in there. Jackson needs to hit a man. Well, well, not, he did. But... And horrible. Bouncing ball rolls its way in. Brilliant tackle. Dragged down, dispossessed. McKay back. Dowdy a fumble. Gets the handball away. Walker. Dowdy was dumped after. A lot of Richmond players back. That's why you'll see Adelaide That's sort of his... looking for a target. That's why they've got to go backwards because Richmond have just got back in numbers. I think Damien Harwood sent the runner out. So we want to go at a three-quarter time level. Bob to Stevens, short Riley. Well, please just wide. A lot of numbers here. Gunston's there. Moore with the fist. Asprey crumbed it nicely. Connors needs to be clever. And that's bounced out cleverly. So a minute and a half to go. Scores a level. We've done really well here, Richmond, this third quarter. Just said five goals, three to two goals, two Adelaide. See Damon Hardwick. He'd love to go in a three-quarter time level at the Richmond supporters behind him. Dustin Martin, third man up. Dangerfield overran it. Morton kept his feet nicely. Martin's through yeah. traffic. Fantastic. White, Cousins, they could take the lead here. Long kick. Nathan didn't know it was his. Schmidt got back. Rutten. Adelaide could take it back again. There's been a lot of support here, Rutten. A minute to three-quarter time. Stevens wide. Barry line might beat them all. Gunston, a little nudge. That was enough on Connors. Just a bit sloppy. And Jack Gunston. Yeah, all he had to do was use his hips. Well, he was already going out. I've had the body. Will the Tigers attack in this last minute? Or just go backwards? Well, short. Colby's right, and they have got a strong breeze. You want to have your noses in front three quarter time because going by the way the scoring trends have been, the team, look at those flags. Team kicking to that, that end of the ground. Right, right to of screen and kick all the goals basically. It is difficult to equate the breeze that high to the breeze at ground level here at the MCG. It does swirl. It does. Ball up on the wing. Time enough for a clearance and a score for either team. 67 apiece, 48 seconds left. Set up for a great last quarter. Fumble out. Farmer caught by Here Douglas. they go, either away, yeah. Got a handball. Edwards, Cousins, to try and set it up. Shoots it back again. Martin gathers, 70 from goal. Floats it up. Rewalk can go. Doesn't get a chance. Does get a hand to it. Back of the pack. McGuan! Tigers in front! 
Oh, this is fantastic. It's the last thing Neil Craig wanted to see the Richard supporters. Just a beautiful long kick from Martin. That puts any defence under pressure. When you kick the ball with 30 metres out, McGuan's the switch hit has gone forward. Cousins had a fantastic game. This third quarter, he's been terrific. He's already kicked a goal. With Martin assessed, he got some one-on-ones there. You can just see McGuan go over the top. That's a bad spoil there from Rutten. Allow the ball to go over the back. That's the number one rule as a defender. Get the ball forward. It's spilled over the back. Played the ultimate price here for a goal to Richmond. They go up, six points up. 22 seconds to play in his third quarter. Just his fourth goal in 69 games of football, Luke McGuire. Well, he has mainly played defence. I like what Damon Harvick's done this third quarter. He's mixed up their forward line, and they're not so reliant on Jack Rewalt. Other options have gone up there. Well, he's got McGuire on Stevens now. Put him down there. He's had instant dividends. Symes kicks it forward. Ten seconds left. Asprey needs to get this out. Gunston steals it. Tackle too high, but the seconds might beat them. Yeah, five seconds to oh, it's cooked now. Barring a 50. Siren sounds. Game on, as Lee Colbert would say. He's Huge gonna... consequences for these two teams. Adelaide Crows' final chances hinge on this, you would think. Richmond, they're getting themselves out of wooden spoon contention. Big last term coming up. Tigers by six at the last turn. Jackson oh, could go for goal. Keeps it low again. Oh, Rewalt tries a magical. Hits. And oh, boy. hits. First game up. First goal. <laughs> Three-quarter time at the Melbourne Cricket Ground. Round 18 encounter between 11th and 15th. But it has been a sensational, exciting game to watch. And at three-quarter time, we're no closer to knowing the winner, really. Richmond by eight at quarter time. Adelaide by 19 at half time. Richmond by six right now. But Adelaide coming home with the breeze, we believe, Lee Colbert. Yes, thanks, Dwayne. Well, six separate goal kickers for the Tigers in that quarter. As the Tigers of old, one thing that is coming, though, is weather and some rain. It's at Werribee now. And uh, for Adelaide, well, the one thing in their favour is 14 of the 20 goals have been kicked to the right of screen. And that's the way they'll be kicking in this last term. But the weather, boys, is well and truly near us. Well, you, you must have... Uh been thinking ahead, Dwayne, when you, you called Webberley Werribee a bit earlier. Sometimes it takes a long time to get across the Westgate here in Melbourne. <laughs> no, peak hour traffic, that weather could be an hour and a half away. <laughs> well, it is uh, a good sign for the Crows that they have got the scoring in, but they've got a bit of work to do because the Tigers have got their tails up. Well, it's the season on the line. You saw Neil Craig there with the players. Only been inside forward 50, 30 times, Richmond, to Adelaide's 40. Now, normally that should be about a five-goal lead. It's not and that second quarter where they kicked a number of points is really hurting Adelaide. Robbie Hicks back to position. His first goal in AFL footy to level the scores in the third term. His dad Ashley, a VFO player for Port Melbourne a few years ago, comes from good footy stock, Robbie Hicks. Players back to position, final term, about to get underway. Centre clearance is going to be crucial in this last quarter. Richmond dominated in the first quarter, then it was Adelaide, and Richmond got on top again in the third, so it's going to be a terrific last quarter of football. Adelaide season on the line. Start with Taylor Walker deep, Neil Craig, tip it up the ground. For Taylor Walker, one out, Cal Moore. Graham and Griffin. Final term started with a big roar from the Richmond faithful. Jackson dives in. He's over it. He's tackled. He's gone. Well, very consistent with that, the umpires. Very consistent with that. If you show no effort once you go to ground to get it out, they'll pay a free. They've had a good game, the umpires. Yeah, they haven't reacted to it, the players, today when they've gone to ground. Vince to Walker. Offhand, Sloan attacked it. Got a handle to Port Pleasure. Tries to slip it back. Stolen by Farmer. Delidio. Martin, heads wide, tough ball, Van Berlo and White, Watch White, Van Berlo, takes him on, keeps it in, takes it out. Well, it was a great play, it was a terrific kick from Martin, he was under pressure and got the ball to White's advantage, terrific passage of play. Using a lot more handball than Adelaide. Let's have a look at this kick, that has gone 65 metres into the breeze. Contrasting styles, 130 kicked kicks Richmond 144 handballs whereas the Crows 
won 70 kicks, won 30 handballs. So they're prepared to kick it a lot more. The Tigers want to run and carry. They'll need to run and carry if they're kicking into a reasonable breeze, which we believe they are. Gench, Marich, Thompson, just three men on the bench with Neil Craig and Todd Viney. Maybe one slightly out of the picture with check with Lee Colbert shortly. Paul Pleasure shuffles it out but to Edwards, to Jackson. Stolen back again, Vince. But it's wide. Dangerfield can't get there. Asprey first. Got one to the ear. Good Keeps job. it in. Delidio taking the game on. Asprey again. Hugs the line. Turnover. Douglas. He's looked a lot better than the half-back back line. David Asprey. He had a, three, had a three-goal game earlier this year, yeah. year playing up forward. But you're right. Maybe starting to settle in defence. Van Berlo to Bock. What was his first game? If the memory yeah, it was. It was. And it's a lot easier as a youngster staying in halfback. It gives you a focus. Mind playing you, a man. Your mistakes are accentuated, though, when you play in defence. Schmidt long to Doughty. And the fist from Farmer. I like that work by Farmer there. Because he left his man, Rory Sloan. And he knew that the long ball, he was going to need to help his teammate out. He did it really well. That's the right time to go. And the ball's highly kicked in high. If you're 20 or 30 metres off it, you go to help out. One on ones all around this contest, all around the ground. In fact, we're zoning here. Vince with the clearance. Symes, Delidio, both attack the Delidio. Well Delidio. Fantastic. Edwards, Tuck, Edwards. Open here. You can run. Rewild, Rewild one calls one. for it. It's in his direction. Rewild goes. Bob got there first. Put a marker, Bob. McGuan, Hamill back. White, caught. No prior opportunity, perhaps. Dragged down. Van Berlo stripped him. Stevens, they're in Martin, Richmond. Bock, Martin, there's the shrug, <laughs> there's the kick, Rewald can't Good go, contest, off mate. hands, Wise, Great goal. Mike White lightning, swooped and kicked. You could just tell that Richmond were hungry, the ball went in there and wasn't going to come out easy, with some loose balls, Adelaide that second quarter. Bend the ball out with those. This is where it started. Delidio's attack on the ball. Give it to Shane Edwards. He took the game on. Got the old one too. But look at the pressure here from Jake King. Because you're right. He's had an outstanding game, Jakey King. There's Martin again on that trusty right foot getting into a contest. The contest from Rewald cannot be underestimated there. That could have been an easy mark to Adelaide. One of the four ins for Richmond this week they made. Four changes coming in, and then a fifth change with Robbie Hicks as a late replacement for Andrew Collins. Huge goal there for Matt White. Great start for the Tigers. Adelaide led by 19 points at half time. They're on the ropes, even though they're kicking with the breeze in this final term. Their whole season's on the ropes, Adelaide. Richmond by 12, another ball up to come. Adelaide's year to me. It's a little bit like Hawthorne's in 2009. It never really has got going. And it was a little test that the Hawks couldn't quite get over last year, if we remember rightly. They were around the mark. It was always a chance. Never quite eventuated. You, look, you are looking your season in the face here, Crows. And if they can't beat Richmond today, they don't deserve to be in the eight. Well, they've got a tough run. Bulldogs next week. Brisbane at the Gabba. Collingwood and St Kilda, their last two games. Lose today. They can virtually kiss any thought of finals goodbye. Wayne, we just saw that fourth uh, Adelaide player on the bench was Jack Gunston on the bike, so they have got four on the bench, Adelaide. Newman sends it long. Oh, Getting back fella. ground! He just come on the ground, Brown. So Damien Hardwick pulling on the right strings. Boy, is this a kick for Andrew Brown. Yeah, he's a loose player in the goals, but he's trying to get it to him. He gets That's back with the flight. Oh, it's a good grab. Outstanding grab. He's never kicked a goal in AFL footy. It's amazing. Luke McGuan goes forward in the third quarter on Stevens. They get a goal. Brown goes on to Stevens. Right, uh, you watch. I was going to say, I reckon Connors was going to probably come past, but the big fella's going to back himself. Not, third game of his convinced. career. Second game of the year. It drifts. It's a goal. He kicks his first AFL goal, and they lead by 18. Well, spot up. He, I thought he led in the wrong spot. Newman was looking up to say, all right, here's my target. He looked up and he's got the newly kick it across his body. He was over where Stevens was, but the big fella just outsmarted us all. Got into the corridor and knew his captain could kick it across his body to his advantage. He went back, took an unbelievable mark under pressure, and nailed home. 
An 18 point advantage. Gee. Well done, Damien Harwick. Well done, Andrew Brown, kicking your first goal. He's gone down and played on Stevens. Luke McGuan went down the third quarter, kicked the goal on Scott Stevens, and now he's gone into the rack. Brown, which means that Graham has gone deep in the four line for Richmond. Well, he's a Murray Bush Rangers Premiership captain, Andrew Brown, so he has played in big moments before. Not quite as big as this, though. Yench, Douglas. Tiffers! Oh, oh, she has a good mark. Watch that off the ball. There's not a lot that first field could do there, Pickers, because he was just too strong. Jeez, that was a terrific mark, but they need a quick answer. Been a lean day at the office for Kirk Tippett. He is goalless. And the kick from Douglas was to his advantage. Only by half a foot, but that was enough. But when you've got a 10 centimetre, 10 kilo advantage, which he has, one on one, put your arms straight up. Huge kick this. Kicked one goal in the past two weeks. Goalless in the showdown last week. All right. He's back in town. It's a 12 point game. They need to bounce back straight away there, Adelaide, or the game would have been without reach. And it was a beautiful kick from Douglas. Just kicked the ball to Tibbetts' advantage. You see centre clearance. They've been crucial all day. Tuck had the ball, unfortunately turned it over. Numbers around the ball here. And you can just see the fight free. But Douglas just had time and space. That's all you need to give you forward half an advantage. And that's all it was. It was enough for Tibbetts to take an outstanding mark on first field. Look at the size advantage he's got on really first field there. So I say it's 10 centimetres and 10 kilos. I reckon it's probably more than 10 kilos looking at that. But I think it might be more than 10 centimetres as well. He's a big lad, especially when he's well, he probably more with his long arms when they're extended. Vince, handball in the endless direction. Connors did well. Brown is fired up in this last yeah. turn. Cousins, who might That's rewrite his contract the way he's playing. Rutten. Oh, it's a beautiful, the mark. beautiful kick from Cousins. Well read, Ben Rutten. Yeah, he's had a good, done a good job uh, on it. He's played well. You have to rewrite that contract and say you've got an extra oh. long He's been outstanding. And McGuan takes the kick from the air. Well, pass option at halfback. We've well, been a couple of them from Adelaide today. If you're talking purely form on Ben Cousins, his last month or six weeks has been good. Right pass to Rewald. Hands were strong. Oh, they were asleep there. Matthew Jets. He was just standing there and just looked up. It was too late. Rutt was screaming. He was behind Rewald. Great play to McGuan to identify the space that Rewald to lead into. And just see, just missed the body there, Rutt. He won't like that when he watches that on the replay. He's had a chance to put the arm across. See Jets here on the left of the screen. Too late. You've got to be aware where the dangerous forward is. Massive kick this. Runs into 30 and misses, hits the post. Gave a good workout too. It's it looked good off the boot. It did. Indeed. How's that wind going, Colby? Because they seem to be get, getting it in there, okay, the Tigers. That's the toughest kick for the day. Uh, it needed to be left post, obviously, and uh, that's where the breeze is coming right from. So. And how far away is this weather? It's minutes, mate. Delidio, huge grab. Well, well read. You can tell that Richmond set up for the long kick. They had numbers around that ball. They're inspired at the moment, the Tigers. The umpire said, play out. He's still standing there, Stevens. Why doesn't he run up to Delidio? Now he is. Delidio takes him on. Spears it low, but it's wide. No, it's not the worst result. Not the worst result there, Dwayne. Set up again. The stoppage work's been pretty good. Heap of numbers there. Look at those clouds. Well, they can't come quick enough for Richmond. No, nah, that's uh, right. They come there, that's... Merritt's little palm down, goes back in, ties it up, ball up. Might be some hail behind it too. Hope for Colby. Colby's got himself a garbage bag top number down there on the boundary line that I can see. <laughs> With my jacket down there, wet Colby will be spot. <laughs> I've created a bivy. <laughs> Look at this tap. Clever oh. palm down, first field. Nearly jumped onto it. Symes wrapped up. Did he have prior? Richard uh, fans say yes. Uh, Umpire uh, says no. Uh, okay, now in this situation here, the crowd's obviously going to hit defensively. We'll have a look at this tackle. Yeah, that's prior to me. Brad Symes been a good player. They know their footy, the Tiger fans. Watch the stoppage. Good stoppage players. Tuck, uh, Martin, 
Oh, oh great pressure. No, great pressure. It's all it takes. Great tackle there. Now, they should have open plays here somewhere in Richmond. The three blokes looking to... Oh, White's on. Can't just get it to him, though. He's got a number of players back here for the Crows. Newman told to go. Good, good Top of the it. square. Rewalt can't jump. First field does. Hits the deck. Massive players around it. Umpire forced to sort it out. This will suit the Tigers. It's going to be hard for the Crows to get the ball out of here. Well, they've just got to set up the wall like they did early in the first quarter. Richmond need to pull a couple of bucks back from that contest for the errant kick and make sure you pressure the, the Crows as they're trying to bring it out. Palm down, but to Schmidt gets the handball this out. This sort of stuff. Stevens, a wobble Delidio. outside. Delidio and Walker. Delidio held his ground. He protected the area of the ball drop beautifully, didn't he? He sure did. He won one for his team, but that's all that matters. He's got the ball. Sean Edwards is in the pocket calling for it. There's a strange option to go to. He does. Edwards jumps. Front spot, Thompson. Oh, good mark. Strong mark, Thompson. No space to use. Cold to play on. Just pops it up. Richmond have players there. Connors knocks it down. Hits the deck. Tuck. Gets the shot away. Was it smothered? It bounces. Attacking it rotten. Then lays a massive tackle. Ties it up, baller. For some boy, he's getting tired. Might be rotating, he's had all the work the last five minutes. It's going to take a little bit of guts to bring it out from here, Adelaide, because they're going to have to do it, I reckon, by hand. Yeah, it was a good tackle from Rutley. For the fighters, are giving a free kick away there. From the ball up, flick down. Shoot away by Symes. Connors, has been solid, uses some toe. Graham. Spears it to Graham! Fist away, hits the deck, Edwards misses. Oh. The lights are on here at the MCG. The dark clouds bearing down, and they'll be bearing down on Adelaide if that ever went through. And that's not thunder you can hear, that's the Richmond fans roaring. They're right into this one. From the wing, Gunston couldn't take possession. Tuck does, loops it over to Asprey. Wobbler inside 50, Reebok caught under it. Tries to tap it down. Symes dives in, Good locks close. it up, and more seconds tick by. Well, which would have owned the game the last five minutes. It's just been Adelaide just cannot get that secondary possession from the half back line. They've got Paul Pleasure and Tippett up the other end, yeah. but they'll be catching a cold at the moment. Eight inside 50s to Richmond to two in this quarter. Bach, did he have prior? No. no. Got rid of it somehow. Tark. Martin. Martin. Kicks mother. Gets it back. Has another go. Pop Just back. as good the second time. Too strong. Well called, Dwayne. He is too strong. It's unbelievable he's playing his first year of AFL football. You see the Tiger supporters. They couldn't care less about the weather. All they're worried about is the, the second effort. So you can see Martin out the back of the pack. Tuck again gets a clearance. Great smother from Adelaide, but just the strength. Three or four players bearing down. Too good, too big, too strong. He gets a rest. He's not eligible to win the NAB Rising Star because... Which is a joke. ...of an indiscretion earlier this year. I'm agreeing with you there yeah. wholeheartedly because he didn't miss a game. He just had too many points. Absolute joke. He, he, he would be leading it if he would be winning it in, for mine. He's right. what, he'd like to hit your wagon to him for the next 15 years. Absolutely. They've drafted the right player there, the Tigers. I don't think individual war, but I, and I agree with what you're talking about, but I think the Richard supporters are looking forward to the next 15 years, Wayne. He's, he's a star already, the young fella. No, well, it could have had a common end at that rising star this year. The way it stands now, Richmond will at least get the four points. Delidio, Tark, it's like a night game out there at the moment. Yes. The lights are on. It's as dark as any day game's ever been. Yeah, and you, Adelaide, all they can wait, look back if they lose this game of footy is that second quarter. They absolutely yep. dominated the quarter. They should have put Richmond away. They didn't, and they're paying the price now. Webberly told to go. Heads wide. Good fist from Brown, or harm on it at least. Dangerfield, who had a chance to nail a couple of big goals and missed them both. Doughty, tough ball to mark. Delidio made it his. He's been terrific. Pet Delidio again. Newman, can he find a chest? It was their best kick. 
Lee comes from first field. He goes longer to Jackson. Oh, that? Feeds back. Card mark. Sloan didn't infringe. Riley to Dowdy. They still believe Adelaide. Bock. Need to be good here. No one to go to. Walker. Takes him on. Gets a kick away. Well, well played, Newman. Well, we've been a couple of run-down chases. They didn't get the tackle, but they've caused a turnover. And that's what Damien Harbour will like when he had a look, look at the tape. Just the, the way Adelaide ran the ball out in the second quarter was easy, but now Adelaide, they cannot get any free flow at all. Asprey got it long. Martin, Cousins, the old and the new combined. Tuck, that's ugly. It's Adelaide's ball. Yeah, he's been super tucky. on his numbers. 30, he's at 30 again. Kick the goal. Eight tackles, eight clearances. Yeah. It's not a bad game. Period. No problems getting him a new contract. Oh, he's just what? tough. He's just tough as a team. <laughs> Rotten to the wing. Griffin made a contest. This Edwards. 50 50 balls. They're just dominating the crows at the moment. Cousins, Martin. They're combining well, the two of them. His apprentice, Dustin Martin, doing just as well as the teacher, Cousins. Rewalt inside 50 from Cousins' kick. Thompson caught. Rewalt dives in. Rutten with him. Dangerfield. Sloan. Dowdy. Still taking it on. Van Berlo dumped. Thompson. Wing. It opens up for them. Pass needs to be good, though. Bounces oh, his way back inside. 50. Douglas attacks it. Well gets it. Done. Got Let it. Me. Got to be a free. We well, played on. It's a goal. It's gold regardless. They're still in it. There is a massive amount of breeze coming in here, too, boys. We'll go over that. The You've got uh, Luke McGon there. He turned his back on the on the play. You can see the free kick there. Douglas amazingly just played on. Uh, he thought the, the clock. You see McGon there give the trip, and then instead of Douglas going back over the man of the mark, and a rush of blood kicked the goal. So some glimmer of hope here for Adelaide. It's hailing. It is hailing at the MCG. Have a listen to that. How's it, what's it like down there, Lee Colbert? <laughs> it's hailing at the MCG. Yeah. It came in. It came in. You can hear it. It really blew people out of their seats. Well, it's blown the plastic bag into the centre circle here. They might not be able to bounce this ball. The plastic bag has drifted into play. Oh, one of the players just took the catch. Henderson <laughs> threw the plastic bag away. The ball might wrapped up in the plastic oh, bag. Look at the size Henderson of the hail time. Kick smothered. Knocked down. The ball's about as size the, as the hail. Tight poke. <laughs> You see the players uh, getting their heads down out of the, their eyes out of the hail. Farmer did well. Hail continues to pump down. Dowdy pumps it forward. Tough ball to mark. Tough to do anything. Douglas oh, under it. Says Tippett. Tippett crashed the pack. Off hands. McGuan tried to target. It's slippery. It's difficult. It's impossible. And Martin does the impossible. Oh, it's a clever kick. possession. Good to Morton. He's rewalked. Sends it long. Oh, no, we Rewalt that. won't go. He'll stay down. Almost the mark. That would have been the sealer. Great kick. Nathan caught high. Now, it's a good attack on Nathan. Good attack. He attacked the ball. He actually went harder when he saw Rutten bearing down on him. Oh, this is unbelievable, Fleet Colbert. This is uh, this is the time that you do like to have a haircut like Nathan. Get your big protection. Have, have a look at the size of the hail bouncing off the ground. But have a look at the attack of Nathan here. He knew Rutten was there, but this, this is unbelievable here. Unbelievable conditions. This might seal it. 20 minutes are gone. <laughs> Tough kick. Not his fault. He's not in the hail. No. How big are they, Colby, down there? Yeah, they're just uh, little ice cubes at the moment, but uh, they're getting bigger by the minute. I can't believe how big they are. Where are you, Colby? Oh, I'm under here, mate. <laughs> <laughs> is, that, is that your wheels? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Have a look at the, the ground. It's amazing. It's in, like a snowfield. Surely it's going to make it impossible for Adelaide from here. Well, you'd think so. They're going to yeah. have to be very brave to win this game. They're going to have to take a huge amount of risks. Simes tries to roll it out. He didn't get out and he's gone. Oh, isn't it? Look We're into time on. Look at the hail. Very, um, have a look at that shot there. That's an amazing shot. Look at that. It's just healthy. Yeah. Long towards the square. Off hands and out of play. Yeah, you can probably forgive him for missing that. Yeah. We had to deal with a little bit of... And I think they'll be happy with the hail over the tie, as you said. They deserve, they deserve the lead. It's, it's nearly nine impossible now in these conditions for Adelaide to kick three goals. Knocked down Rewalt, knocks it away. Douglas. 
Long from half back. Tip it, McGuan. Tip it. Get there. Can't mark. McGuan kept his feet. Tough to do. Slips his way through the rain and the hail and the crows. More wide. King. He'd probably like it like this. Because it's nasty. <laughs> to half forward. Tuck. Marks on the line. It continues to come down. Tuck to full forward. Rewalt can't get, can't get there. Great grab. Especially in those conditions. Runs around to kick the miracle goal. Oh, he's oh, hitting. Oh, all hail Richmond. Ah, uh, well, you wouldn't say that was a, a percentage piece of play there by Rewalt. It was a great work to actually get the mark in the first place. You have a look at this kick, it's a bit of hang time from the tuck kick, but he's had to work his way through past his opponent. Now on a slippery wet day where you're pretty gonna trip, gonna trip over some hail. One step around the corner on the left. Yeah, that's fantastic goal. And that's the end of the story for the Pearl Crows. Still six and a half minutes to go. Jack Revolt's kicked two goals, all from both from the boundary line. And unconventional, but he was aware that if he went back in these conditions, a drop punt's nearly impossible for these conditions. So you give him the benefit of the doubt, that's an outstanding play. Came at the right time for the Tigers. Adelaide led by 19 at half time. It's been all Richmond since then. A bang inside 50 that Walker couldn't handle. More Delidio has been awesome. He has had a fantastic second half in particular. He's up to 30 possessions. He had his worst possession game of the year last week against Collingwood. Just the 19 for Brett Delidio. He's had 30 so far today. I was surprised he was not all Australian. Half back flank of Brett Delidio. There's a thing about him. It's his ball use. Not only his possessions, but always hits a Richmond team up. Doughty. All he could do was fist it. Ball in. Players look at the scoreboard. 24 minutes are gone. Five minutes 50 left. And Adelaide's players know their season is slipping away with each passing second. Dangerfield. And? Sorry, Bueno. They've only got themselves to blame. Yeah, exactly. The last two weeks in front of goal. They've fallen on their own sword. White took it out deliberately. Call him. And that's taking nothing away from Port or the Tigers because the gate wasn't slammed shut. It was a jar. And Richmond and Port have been good enough to smash that door open. Neil Craig did say in the press conference last week they've got themselves to blame. Didn't blame anybody else. They came into the season, the Adelaide Crows, one of the favourites to win the flag. They won't make the eight unless they virtually win all of their remaining games. Well, it's going to be a long trip back to Adelaide tonight. Touch play on the call. Can't get it past the lead out, Adelaide. Cousins likewise. Marriage. Hard one to mark at half forward to Newman. Another good game from the skipper. It's 25. His numbers, his boys has been outstanding. It seems to have been there in crucial stages. Farmer. Heads wide. White got there. Great speed. Taking seconds off the clock, not a bad play right now. Well, it's a smart play. Well, it's a great sign, though, isn't it? Half time. Well, that was an accident on Torpedo. Yeah, it's come off, too. Stevens attacks it. They haven't given it up, Adelaide. No, they haven't. That's right. Walker, Henderson, Douglas. Gives it over the top to Sloan. Walker, a fumble, and that could be costly. Moore, little toe poke. Richmond have the numbers around Walker. Almost taken out. Connors elects to keep it in. Oh. Clever roll. Cut off by Thompson. Toe poke. Superb. Van Berlo. Dowdy. Inside 50. Tip it. Oh, oh, good grab. Grab. Gee, that's a good mark. That's a good mark. There's nothing that McGuan could do there. That's a beautiful grab. As forwards. Always play in front of these conditions. You see, protect the ball area again. The ball drop. Nothing that one could do. Just too good, Tippett. It's a 20-point lead. It's essentially a four-goal lead with three minutes 40 left. You can cut it back to 14. Oh, 
Yeah, it's not even scoring. It's yeah. out on the full. It's the story of the last two weeks, isn't it? Opportunities wasted, Adelaide. One goal in the last three weeks for Kurt Tippett. Farmer. He's actually, the rest of his game's been all right. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's just his like, kicking. It's like my golf, mate. Yeah, I sure. get the green regulation, walk up with double bogeys. <laughs> Dived him well there, Tippett. Asprey likewise. Ball shuffled to the line. Ball in. But we're down to 3 and 11. Inside 50s for the game. 45 Adelaide, 43 Tigers. A score on a 15 9 to a score on of 11 13. Doesn't take much to do the maths there, yeah, work out what the story is. Sloan to Riley, it's wide. 19 points. You know, the clearance is even. A couple of difference, 38 to 41. Contested possessions fairly even. Tackles are even. Scoring efficiency, that's the difference. Delidio with the long bomb. First field the leap, can't bring it down. Riley the crumb. Van Berlo short. Vince. Kicks punted by Mason. Ricochet's back. First field, Edwards, Graham, and they're away again. In some space. White can get and go. Dowdy corrals him. White takes him on. Rebold short. Gee, that was a splendid pass. Rutten just got a fist in. Rebold off the deck. No way. Kicks across the face. Hench, a fumble. Well, he has kicked some of those this he year. He has. In those conditions, he would have had to have hit it absolutely perfect. Had enough time to pick the ball up for mine, yep. but I'm not Jack Rewell. Kick one against Port Adelaide in these conditions at Amy Stadium earlier in the year. The time will beat them, and Richmond's brilliance and strength and determination will beat them, Adelaide. 19 points, ball in. We were riding them off at half time at Tigers. To their credit, they've got a bit of belief back in their club. They've had a couple of shocking weeks, but uh, a great win today. Adelaide really disappointing with their second half. 19 points in front at half time. And the Tigers come out after half time, went bang, 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 and away she went. I think the, the beauty of this win today is not Jack Rewalt reliant. They've had 15 goals, about 13 different goal kickers. Yep. That's been the real plus. You look at Collingwood, you look at Geelong, you look at the Bulldogs, they, they end the game with 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 goal kickers. A couple of their wins, Richmond early, were Rewalt focused, and today it's been a team effort. So that, that's what Damien Hardwick will take out of this game. King with the Shepherd, Morton, Newman, back to King. He's only had 14 touches, he's actually getting some direction from the coach there on the bench. And Ben Cousins. Andy Cousins has been terrific today. That's a good kick though. Just long down the line. If it does not mark, it'll be out of bounds. Great result. Because it's impossible to leave Adelaide to get a counter-attack from there. Absolutely. So it'll be a scrubby kick to the wing. It'll all just take the juice out of the clock. This is a great win for the Tigers because 19 points down at half time. Young team, long season. Oh yeah, we're going okay. But they've just smashed Adelaide in the second half. Rewalt, Morton, Delidio. Banks it towards goal, and Nason touched it. He might go on it anyway. Thirstfield! Touch. Thirstfield, touch! Well, he's never kicked an AFL goal. Well, Thirstfield, that would have been nice. He's got the AFL record. Most games without a goal, 65, and this... That's, that's why Damon Hart has oh. put him down there, I think, right? He's still down there at full forward. He's got his hands on his head at the moment. He's looking across at his teammates saying, <laughs> I thought I kicked it. It he's wasn't touched. still the record holder, not the... <laughs> AFL, VFL record holder, <laughs> just the AFL record holder. There's been some big droughts, goal kicking wise. And Ted Potter was it, Brian? It was, Collingwood. 182 games, no goals in the 60s and 70s. That's a lot of games without a goal. No surprise to see getting up at the bottom of that pack with Shane Tark. He's had another outstanding game. 32 touches, 9 clearances, 10 tackles, 7 inside 50s. Tark, Rewalt, first field. Crashes the pack. Dowdy. He McKay. Should. Signs. He loves the wet conditions. Not that it's been wet all day, so we can't use that as an excuse because the weather was pretty good for three quarters. Got a little bit of hail. It's all gone now by the looks of it. Adelaide led. Big Mark Newman almost not paid. Adelaide led by 19. 
points at half time if you've joined us late. This has been a magnificent turnaround from the team that is 15th on the AFL ladder, the Tigers. They won't win the wooden spoon this year. And they're continuing to plant seeds for the future. Seagulls are still here, unbelievably. The Tiger fans love a good roar. And their song might take it off the scale again tonight. Richmond by 20, 15, 10, 100 to 11, 14, 80. Uh, it's been an outstanding win as we hear the theme song. All the Richard supporters have stayed around in these inclement conditions. Never seen hail like it. I remember the day at Waverley in 93. It was unbelievable. Look at the Tiger supporters there with their ponchos on. They couldn't care less about the conditions. All they care about is the fact that their Tiger team are, are on the way. They're on the way on a long journey. You said Tuck, Deledio, Edwards, Newman, Deledio. They're absolutely outstanding. Great team performance. And that's just an outstanding win. Let's head downstairs, Lee Colvin. Dustin, uh, look, mate, you had to hang in there today because Adelaide were pressing you early. Yeah, it was just a fantastic effort by the boys to dig deep and play four quarters. The boys, uh, as you said, dug deep, but uh, the young group, the spirited group, it must be uh, pleasing for yourself uh, to come into such a side and now you're really starting to go places. Yeah, it's such a young, exciting side. You've got Webbers, Dixie, Naso, it's just so many young blokes, Asprey, it's just good fun. Now that fend off, mate. Have you uh, have you been doing that your whole life? Because uh, I know plenty of people enjoy seeing it. You're uh, you're the best in the business at it, and it's only your first first year at it. Oh no! Where's no, that come from? Um, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know, mate. And uh, what about the hail and the conditions? Tricky weather today. Yeah, it was good fun. Good have a win. Have you ever uh, experienced anything like that before? No, it was pretty amazing. Yeah, it was a bit weird, but uh, it was good, mate. And a couple of those young blokes uh, kicked some good goals, didn't they? Uh, actually, their first goals, which was good. Hicksie uh, on the board and Brownie. Yeah, as I said, it's just amazing. It's fucking so fun to have all the boys. <laughs> good on you, champion. Thanks. Young Dustin Martin, if you're wondering. Yes, it's his Maori family name and their historical place that's tattooed on his neck. 20 points, the final margin. Richmond, after being 19 points down at half time, win 15 10 100 to Adelaide 11 14 80. Don't go away. Danny Frawley and Liam Pickering to wrap up straight after the break. Rewalt tries a magical. It's and the boy. First, Danny. Timer, first goal. Martin, there's the shrug, there's the kick. Revolt can't Good go. Contest, Off mate. hands. Wise! Great goal. Like white lightning. Swooped and kicked. He gets back with the flight. Oh, it's a good grab. Third oh, game of his career. Beast. Second game of the year. It drifts. To go. He kicks his first AFL goal. Martin. Martin kicks by the... Gets it back. Has another go. Revolt can't get... Can't get there. Runs around to kick the miracle goal. Oh, he's oh, hitting. Wow, what a second half by the Tigers. They trailed by 19 at half time, but then kicked six goals in that third quarter to two. Then they had to do a bit of work into the breeze in the last quarter. Not only the breeze, also into the rain, the hail, and whatever came. Four goals to two last quarter. So a big win by Richmond. Uh, they'll avoid the wooden spoon now as we have a look at the goal kicker spun. Unbelievable there. Joe King, I thought he was one of the better players on the ground. They had 13 different goal kickers. That's what Damien Harvey had with Tuck Deledio. Brad Standing, Tuck was best player on the ground, just said. Richie Douglas, a couple of goals there. It wasn't a big day for tall forwards, Sines and Scotty Thompson in the stats there. But Adelaide, they were 19 points up at half time. 39 point turnaround, 10 goals to four in the last quarter, so the uh, last half. Neil Craig will be filled a bit. It was all the Tigers, they were outstanding. They were indeed. We talked about the weather and came in, it was threatening all day, and all of a sudden, whackity whack whack. <laughs> this has been nice and trying to have a shot at goal in the last quarter. Now, we kicked it out on the full, but. That's what you call trying conditions. Yeah, he couldn't keep his eyes on the ball. I remember a day out at Waverley, Paul Pios, uh, Brisbane Lions versus St Kilda. But that was unbelievable. Lee Colwood said they were big as ice cubes. And uh, you can forgive him for missing that set shot, I would have thought. I would have thought so as well. Uh, great win by the Tigers here this afternoon. Uh, coming up next, don't go big anywhere game. because Fremantle West Coast should be an absolute beauty. As I said earlier, they don't like each other, these two teams. Well, there's been a few upsets already this weekend, and Freo need the win to have any chance of playing in the top four, and West Coast need the win to try and start at the bottom. They certainly do. Uh, give them a sneaky chance to start uh, this afternoon, the West Coast Eagles. But uh, here this afternoon, Adelaide will be kicking themselves. They let an opportunity slip. All credit goes to the Tigers, though, with a gutsy win in the end. It's a listen to their song. <laughs>